Yeah, it's got a passive mode and an active mode. Yeah, so it has. It, it does sound like a familiar. It does have certain aspects on it as a familiar, but it is not a familiar. So, but it has a connection with Volthier and Volthier only. So treat him more like he is an item, a slave item. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if anyone had uh, uh, Jonathan. Did you have a chance to watch the last session and see what uh, things went on? Uh, no. Yeah, really. you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, both here. Do you want to recap that? I'm sorry. I was reading. What am I recapping? Okay. <laughs> you're re you're seeing if there's any more cool stuff with Esme got. Yeah. yeah I um, really meant to read that. I feel like a douchebag. <laughs> That's all good. Um, yeah, uh, recap the the because last session really ended up being a lot of role play and story background that happened. Okay, so, and we didn't even have a combat besides uh, Avenir having a death wish, trying to go jump through some traps <laughs> that were knocking. The, I mean, the trap hit him once and he bloodied him instantly. These whirling whirling blade traps that just yeah. knocked the snot out of him. He's like both here. Go jump on the blue ones. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, like, I, I did no. see part of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I didn't watch the whole thing. But I got... Okay. But uh, go ahead, uh, Volthier. If you if you know the stuff, or I could recap it real quickly, too, if I can do it quickly. <laughs> um, go, ahead and, uh, go ahead and do the recap, because okay. I would even like to recap on the things that we learned, because there was a lot of shit, and... You got the, the core notes over there. Yeah, I do. Okay, so what happened basically is at the end, uh, remember the slide where you had all the bodies that the uh, zombie beholder, would, you know, people would slide down there and just get chomped to pieces? Well, at the end of that slide, there seemed to be uh, a party that uh, found its demise at the end of that slide, and you guys came into a lot of magic equipment, that was from that party, and you'll notice that, um, you know, Jonathan, you'll notice that yeah. Godaga's lantern's not out anymore. That's because the party found these things called goggles of light. I got and that. Like, yeah, like, yeah, it's not goggles of night, but this is under your handouts that so will have under your special items. And then also some elven cloaks and a stalwart belt. And then there was also a party equipment like, uh, you know, elixirs and potions and things like that, which you can see under the uh, campaign forms, which we're going to treat as, you know, anybody can use in the party, so we're not going to role-play it out to where, like, okay, if you want to use the elixir of fortitude, you got to run over to Othin to get it from them first, then use it. You just can say, all right, I use the elixir of fortitude, and we'll just take one off of the uh, off the group funds. But anyway, so you found all this stuff at the end of the slide trap, and it was um, some sort of a party that had been here before you. And uh, so you guys collected all the stuff, put it on. Uh, you guys are basically walking around now in the dark of the maze. But when you view through these goggles of light, it basically illuminates through the lenses of the goggles as if you're seeing, you know, torch lit, torch lit area when you view through it. But if you do see bright light, um, from a fire or uh, any, any source that causes bright light, it will daze you for one round if you view the bright light through the goggles. Okay, uh, That's just kind of the items you found. The storyline that went with it is they found, uh, Avenir found a strange imp tail, I-M-P, imp, an imp tail, that was in the, uh, the mess of all this stuff there that had this distinctive scar on it, that um, Volthia recognized, and it turned out to be this is where this uh, imp came uh, into the game uh, through Volthia, is when Volthia touched it, it made a connection, a psychic connection with Volthia, and it became, it basically became his minion as he's, he's its master. Um, to this point, the imp still does not recognize Volthia, or believe what Volthier was showing him uh, psychically. 
that uh, he was this tiefling from this imp's past, but the imp still does not believe him and just, you know, you know, kind of shies Voltier on saying, okay, sure, you know, so so Voltier would stop slamming his head into the wall. <laughs> but um, then what happened is the imp was able to give you guys a lot of information about what is happening and where you're at. Basically, the imp saw a dragonborn um, and it was General Brog, which Arashi knew um, as one of the uh, militant leaders of his in his homeland that brought forth the downfall of his dragonborn people. Um, so General Brog is not known to Kadaga, but it is he is known to Arashi, and um, <clears throat> he's he's not a good guy. Things wherever he goes, bad things seem to be happening, and you know, water demise follows him. So there's something to do with General Brog in raising an army outside of Fallcrest. Also involved in that too, uh, Hesmagog was able to bring out a lot of information about um, OTG. That OTG is an illithid. Oh yeah. Yes. And he was able to portray some images into Volthyr's mind of these vast caverns of people laying down on these slabs with this magical water, the same magical water you guys found in the, um, the chamber with the, uh, the Dwergar. Uh -huh. And this water is streaming down upon the foreheads of these people. They're all laying in these caverns. And it is um, some sort of magical power that's uh, enhancing this Mind Flayer's powers and allowing him to uh, enthrall these people and basically throwing them into this prison, in the prison of their mind. So, um, you know, you guys kind of came to the conclusion that, like, great, you know, we're in this prison. We, we could very well be these people sitting here having this water dribbled on them that, you know, you're in this prison realm of OTG, basically. See, th this is why I had him do the recap, because I didn't make the connection of the water up where the Dwergar were dripping down that was the same water. Because yeah, yeah, remember that the water so back a then... psychic resonation, but yes, I, yeah. I had forgotten that. Okay, and then I told you that the, the, the Illithid... Were, or you know the mind flayer ill that was uh, he, he you as you saw the visions of him he was not a type of mind flayer that you would you wouldn't consider him deity because he's mortal the way you saw him but there had to be something that was empowering him to have that sort of ability steroids yeah exactly <laughs> which which is in the water. <laughs> it's the whole thing there. It's mind flare steroids. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> to produce all this, you betcha. <laughs> Great. Oh, crap. That's right. <laughs> so this is my plan. I'm going to go back up to that river and pee in it. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that works. That could work. <laughs> but you got to find it first. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna um, cast minor creation and create a solid fruit of sodium <laughs> and drop into the water. And drop it no, no, no. <laughs> you should instead uh, create some LSD to drop into the. <laughs> That's right. Oh, well, isn't that kind of what's happening right now? <laughs> Never mix LSD and my flares. <laughs> Bad things are gonna happen. That's right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that could be a meme. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that should be a meme. <laughs> All right, so you guys basically found this perfect little safe house within the maze, which was amazing because Volthyr called it. He's like, I just know there's a tavern up here somewhere. And <laughs> when you guys were in desperate need of an extended rest, and you, you did find one, amazingly so. And I, yep. too, am a DM. That's right. <laughs> I, too. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so just to kind of give you a little out of game information, that you know this maze has been long, <laughs> and you guys have actually taken the long way around <laughs> through all this. So that there happens will be a, with mazes. That does. That but does. All that being said, there's no way in hell we wouldn't have. <laughs> That's true. We're so That's anal true. about it. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, there will be a there will be a point where you will have a map of the maze. So we'll we'll work to that point there, and so it'll be a little less grueling <laughs> to get through here. But um, like I forewarned before, a little DM, you know, advice to the players: be leery because this this is you're in the you're in the dangerous section of the maze right now. Okay. The dangerous. So oh, yes. Okay, because the, the other one was a cakewalk, right? Yeah. No, yeah. The, the other one was easy. You guys had no buddy, problem buddy, buddy. with those at all. Well, it was mostly easy, but with a couple uh, not very easy things. Yeah. Well, you, you, <laughs> ran, was... you ran into the beholder, the, the big nasty beholder in the chapel, and yeah, you guys tried to fight him, which wasn't very smart. It, it was easy, easy, easy. Holy crap, run for your life. Yes. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> and then a whole bunch of easy, 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 and then uh, I can't believe Avenir just dimension warp with Kadaga. What are you yeah, thinking? No, it was like easy, 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 only crap run, easy, 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 <laughs> oh yeah, fuck, crawl. traps. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, easy, because easy, also easy, the, the disc room, uh, we yeah. basically ate up all for, uh, half of uh, our healing surges yep, on yep, that room. Yeah. yeah, seriously, that was just a trap, and all you guys' healing surges were gone. So... All right, well, you guys have taken an extended rest um, in this nice little room here. Um, hopefully you know where it's at. <laughs> you keep for future reference because there is food. Um, as you've gone through this, the, what's that? I take down notes as to its exact location, so if we need to get back here, I can simply <laughs> reference my notes. Okay, where's your graph paper? <laughs> Imp, come here. We're I doing, write it on we're his doing back. This, we're doing this first edition style. You gotta, you guys, the players get to make the map. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I draw this map on the imp's back. On the imp's back, <laughs> you just sear it into his flesh. He's he's too scaly and too wrinkly, so he, on his he, wing, his make... wing. I can totally do it on his wing. <laughs> I pull his wing out. I'm like, okay, where are we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so now, concerning Hesmagog, the only really thing you need to really know too much about him is just the, the 10 square radius. If he moves 10 squares further away from you, he'll start taking 5 psychic damage. Yeah. If he dies, point, I have you lose read him. It. Yeah, okay. If he dies, you lose him. Yeah. And then you have the telepathic range, the mini master tel telepathy within 20. Yeah. So... And then you can switch them between active modes. So is range 20 just 10 squares? I mean, I was expecting 20 feet, which no, would be... No, range divided. 20 is 20 squares. I put so, everything in there as, as squares. So at 10 squares, he starts, starts taking psychic damage? Uh, after 10 can, squares. But I can communicate with him up to 20? Exactly. So you can sit there and throw him out, you know, out to 11 or 12 squares, and you start taking 5 damage. Each square he moves... Or each turn he had, he's not within range of you. He has an at will uh, vanish. Yes, that's Let me awesome. See. The imp becomes invisible until the end of its next turn, so I can keep it in vanish mode constantly. And yep. he's got points in stealth, mm -hmm. so I can just—he's our new scout. Yeah, he can just <laughs> like take off down the hall. It's well within ten squares of you. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty. As I said, he's not. Yeah, he's not just a little. Like weak. I said, I, I've read him now. Um, yeah. <laughs> during the points of the recap that were that I remembered easily, like the goggles and whatnot. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. Just as a side note, to Ershin uh, um, is always flying, uh, landing at the end of the turn, uh, unless otherwise noted. Okay. Yeah, because when he flies, each movement he does, he has to fly and then land. So if he does a double movement, no, he, he flies, does, lands. No, he doesn't need to land uh, at the end of the turn. Yeah. So and if actually, he did a uh, that wasn't also that also wasn't uh, intended for I think for the for the race. Okay. Because uh, it actually invalidates uh, uh, a feat, uh, a racial feat, and uh, other things. Okay, so. So does he actually have a fly movement then? Yeah, he does. Are you and talking about the draconic? The basically, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. They, track, they do a move action, they fly that many squares, and they have to land at the end of that move action. Yeah. At the end of the turn. Yeah. No, at the end of the move action. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so okay, that's that's what that. I was asking. So if he like did yep. a double move, he has to land, then he could fly again on the second move action. Yeah, right? Leap frogs. <laughs> yes. Pretty much. And so it's more yeah. like a hover, but, but he's got to land at the end the of it. Jump right? glide. Yeah. Actually, I almost uh, uh, they probably wouldn't have to land because uh, um, you would have an altitude one limit. Okay. But uh, rule as written, it does. Okay. So basically, you heat you just hover jump. Yeah. I like that. I, I that totally seems... picture him as a ballerina. <laughs> no. <laughs> Running and doing the. <laughs> You are the ballerina. <laughs> you are the ballerina. <laughs> With your 20 acrobatic sets. That's right. <laughs> with my freaking one point in acrobats that I managed to keep pulling off shit with. That's right. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, there you go. The Dragon Magazine 421. Okay. Yep. All right. The, um, okay, so you found this place here, guys. You've taken your extended rest. As you've gone through the night, you've heard strange sounds, both here, since everyone else was sleeping and you and the imp were up. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you, you know, you, you had first heard the heavy breathing from the door. Um, it, it does get quiet during the night, but then it gets back up again. Um, um, there are rumblings that you heard that seem to be coming from underground um, in this room, too. But they're just more like little tremor senses that you can feel, right. but you have no idea what it's from or what's going on with it. But it just, it, you know, you maybe come to the conclusion that it's something just to do with the maze or whatnot. And um, the breathing I heard was past this door, correct? Uh, correct. All right, let me throw the map up here. All right, there we go. Okay, so yeah, that that door to your south there, it's it's it was where you're hearing the main breathing from. The rumblings that you hear in the room seem to be coming from the north, but undergroundish sort of area. So it's not anything really pertinent at the moment. Um, what else? The, the night goes by. Everyone's able to take their rests. Um, Regain all your hit points, everyone yep. back to healing surges, and uh, you'll notice the little shields I have out there, too. I'm going to track uh, uh, action points that way for you guys, so uh, you'll always know how many action points you got. So extended rest, everything resets to one. Everybody's got one, and actually, I even think when um, other people log on, like when Avenir logs on here in a few minutes, it'll pop up a shield for him, because I've had it for all players. Uh -uh. So we should be good to go. All right, the doors are locked. Uh, there was nothing. Nothing happened through the night of people trying to, you know, get in those doors or anything like that. You guys were able to rest. Still, plenty of food here um, to eat. Um, Othin can also make food, not a problem at all. So I don't think you guys really have any food issues right now. Um, what would you guys like to do? Um. While everyone's still asleep, I decided uh, enough time has passed that they should be resting. And I'm sitting basically um, in a half circle of various food types around me. And I've just been sampling all night as I keep watch, in air quotes. And then I, I you know, realize it's been enough time and I pick up an apple or whatever kind of fruit I have and I toss it at Avenir to wake him up. Mm-hmm. And uh, when he sits up, I'm like, come on, guys, it's time to go. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, everyone can hear me or not. If you don't hear me, I'll throw an apple at you. There you go. Oh, yeah, I can hear <laughs> <laughs> Another five minutes, mommy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Another five minutes, please. Man, this uh, this maze has taken its effect on him. He just called me mommy, and mommy. I'm not feminine at all. <laughs> That's what he, well, you are in elf form still, so <laughs> you could very well be feminine. Yeah, that was Avenue. That's true. you got to remember, you didn't have any hair last time, and now you have this long uh, brown mane. Yeah. 
I um <laughs> well uh Arshin gets up um does a little stretching and then start donning his armor. I okay. call uh, the imp over and I'm like, get over here, you worm. And I grab worm. his tail and I say, <laughs> Be gone, Hesmagog, and I like give it a little whip and he turns back into a tail and I tuck it into my belt. Oops. And I just kinda grumble to myself, file thing. File <laughs> feed. <laughs> yeah, say, anyone, uh, does anyone have any questions for Voltier? I know Avenir would. <laughs> Guys, there's um, some heavy breathing behind us. Is anyone interested in checking it out? I kind of look over to Avenir and I go, there could be some treasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know my stance. Uh, I'd rather not have an enemy. Uh, we could sneak up uh, to me maybe from behind, but uh, uh, last time we acted on uh, this idea, it uh, didn't work too well. Well, what do you propose we do? The other way is a uh, horde of traps and confusing glowing rings on the ground. I kind of motion to the, the slash mark that still exists on Avenir's uh, armor. Do you want to go run into a blender? <laughs> Treasure room. Yep. And and um, what is Avenir and Volthier would be able to explain to the party group of that that hall that you know that uh, Volthier found Avenir in mm -hmm. when he went past the uh, the village exit rune that that hall there had multiple. I mean, it had the section where it had the four uh, little small runes glowing up from the ground to the ceiling, but then it had four larger runes right in a row. Okay? Um, make me a insight check, Volthier, if you would. Insight? Insight. Oh, dear. Plus two. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> um, yes, here we go. Fifteen. Not bad. Fifteen. Okay, that that works. You you will you'll come to the conclusion. It's like, well, wait a second. That the hall that we you know the the stairs that you guys traversed up to get to this little tavern or whatever you want to call it. You noticed that there was small uh, small runes and then a large one. Small runes and then a large one, which did no effect. Had no effect on. There was no traps on those. So you're kind of you can kind of Volthier can kind of come to the knowledge or guessing that if I you totally see, don't trust it. Yeah. Just because there wasn't traps there, Ben doesn't mean there's not traps there now. Yeah, but he he would come to the conclusion that possibly if you see small ones and then a large one and then small ones and then a large one, it may not be a trap. But you're not 100 percent sure. I don't trust it at all. <laughs> I'm not going to analyze on that level. My character would be like, touching the light equals blender, let's avoid them. That's right. <laughs> Nasty blender. Okay. So you have either the south or the west exits. Well, should we go back to the west one and see what's past the portals and Avenue didn't get that far? Or go towards the heavy breathing? That's what we were just discussing, Kadaga. Wake up. <laughs> I know. I'm saying, which way are we going? He's like, where is, it? Where is my next burning victim? <laughs> can I, can I well, slide the imp possibly out under the his, door? Uh, maybe. Um, <laughs> you can, yes, if you would like. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to slide the imp tail under the door and say, come out, Hesmagog, and summon him, and then telepathically ask him what's on the other side of the door. Okay, Hesmagog pops out there. Let's jet you guys down there. And he's, he's like, there's, there's a hall, master. Master, there's a hall. What, well, okay, clearly we're in a maze. Now what else? Can you get more descriptive, please? He says, I see another rune that uh, seems to be bloodstained. That's, that's unpleasant. What about the other way? Can you see anything? Uh, there's breathing out here, Master. Uh, can I come back now? No, take a step further. 
And I still have my hand on his tail, so it's like pulling uncomfortably on him as he uh, tries to lean into the next square. Oh. <laughs> okay, so he kind of leans out. And he looks to the left. As, as panic enters into his mind, yes. I immediately um, say, get back, you fiend. And he just turns back into a tail, and I pull the tail through. And I turn to the party, and I say, well, we're not going that way. So <laughs> you wanted to go look at these other um, sigils? And I just immediately start walking north. Okay. The, they're in Volthier's mind that he sees through his psychic connection with Hesmagog, he sees another beholder that looks like the one you encountered in the, uh, the, the Beholder Chapel, but less ominous, uh, less as, not as large and not as ominous looking. Mm. Okay, I, as I, I turn and walking away, I say, there's two, two more of those big king-like Beholders, but they're like smaller. Maybe they're princes. I don't know. Maybe they're that other guy's sons. Do you guys want to screw with beholders? I really don't. Let's go find this mind flare. That because that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so am I messing you up by bouncing the map everywhere? No, no, not at all. And I kind of take a step further and I pause. And uh, my guys have been up all night thinking while you guys at least got a uh, reprieve from the insanity of the maze, and it's clearly taking its toll on me being conscious all the time. I'm like, God, this fucking place. This fucking girl. <laughs> Guys, we got to get out of here. I know. Man of many words. <laughs> well, I've been telling that since uh, we first got here, so it's not uh, it's nothing new. Yep. I give a small, irritated sigh, and I'm like, so uh, lead the way, please. <laughs> Yeah, let me center the map. All right, as Othin and Volthier <coughs> move through the door, they're startled by a rune that has now reappeared in front of them. But the coloring on the rune is slightly is, different. It's slightly different. It's a little <coughs> bit darker than it was before. Because remember, last time Othin entered and crossed over this rune, it disappeared. Mm-hmm. And then you guys went in and opened the door and everything. Well, this now, after the night's rest, it has reappeared, but it is now a different color. It's a darker color of red, still shining up from the ground to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So you have to move through it to get through if you're going this way. As I come out and see the rune, <laughs> I kind of make a disgruntled sigh. Oh, God. Uh I kneel down, I'm like, what is this? And I start kind of running my hand along the edge without passing into it and trying to read the reverberations of arcanic and um, psionic magic, trying to figure out what the hell this thing is. Okay, go ahead and make purpose. me an ar arcana check. <coughs> All right. Plus 14. Um, 26. Okay. And you okay? So you dig back into the recesses of your mind, and um, using some of your knowledge of the arcanic that you've learned through time and everything, that you're like, oh, I recognize this. I know what this is, guys. I recognize this. This is a switch. This is an arcanic switch. Of the thing I said. Yeah. Why didn't you do it sooner? <laughs> do what? It, it didn't turn the color. You had to sleep on it. <laughs> yeah. So Volthier makes sleep. the connection. That's right. <laughs> Volthier makes the connection because of the change in the color and the disappearing of the rune entirely on the on the floor. He's like, okay, this is a switch. I've seen these before in you know situations to where they they trigger a hidden door or they'll trigger a siren or basically it's it's basically the color is showing that whatever it triggered is active. Guys, um, I recognize this as a triggering sigil, and due to the color, we, we triggered it. Cool. Yeah, nice. sure. Cool. <laughs> Let's go trigger some <laughs> 
I look towards Avenir and I say, you have experience with sigils, why don't you walk over it? <laughs> uh, basically, Avenir tries, I think, to make an check, an arcana check himself yes. to see yep. if he can get uh, uh, some more information uh, starting from what, uh, what you're saying. Okay, go ahead. No, whoa, whoa. Okay, so Avenir um, looks at it and examines it. <coughs> and, man, that was a good roll. He comes to the conclusion that this is, this is this, you know, exactly what Volthier said. He says, but it seems more like something I've seen before, um, that it has something to do with a hidden door. Uh, so just probably did uh, uh, since uh, it's activated did activate any the door? Yes. So basically, somewhere, probably he, he figures close within, you know, well not close, but within the area from where this trigger was set off, it has activated a hidden door or doors somewhere within the maze. Somewhere close to, uh, with this trigger. Uh, is there um, any way for um, Votier or uh, or um, Avenir to um, basically track the flow or kind of energy yeah. or something like that? That's get the general direction. Going to want to do like read oh, read the sigil and see if I can see like the the transient lines of where magic it connection it and try to like kind of run my fingers along and close my eyes and follow to where the magic was linked. Sure. I actually have both Volthier and anybody who would like to try to do that, go ahead and make it Arcana check. I will uh, do an eight other on um, okay. I have more. Avenir. On the Avenir? Okay. Uh, Very nice. 29 on Avenir. Whoa! And yeah, that's enough. Oh, that's Volthier's roll. Okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I'll give a plus two to Avenir. So he's 31. back up to 31 again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, he, yeah, Avenir and, and Volthier, too. Man, that's so high. You're, you're both going to be able to tell that the arcanic properties seem to be emanating from this, the rune and heading north through the North Hall. And out of game, did you came did you came from the south last uh, last session? Yes, you guys. Everybody came from the south yes. last session. Okay. Yes, um, there is some re residual heading to the south, but it's very very faint. So you guys would uh, definitely be able to feel that the arcanic properties of whatever is heading to the south is a lot less. So it's not going to be closer to the south than it will be to the north. Guys, looks like we head north, and I pass my hand over the sigil to trigger it. Mm -hmm. uh, it it's, it's already triggered. You, you know that. It, it's, just it's already triggered. Case. Yeah. So you pass your hand over it, nothing happens. You and just begin moving. You just cover the glow. Go ahead and have everybody make one move action. Yeah. I pass through the sigil, and we are to the cool little smaller ones now. Yep. So you move on up to here, and you see the little small ones before. Uh, Othan had passed over these before, and actually made it up all the way around to the corner without anything happening. So he would know that. He was very explorative last session <laughs> too. <laughs> Did he pass through the red or the green? He passed through the the blue. Well, blue. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Or the green, whatever you want color you want to see it as. All right, should we roll initiatives and get into an initiative? Begin moving. Um, not yet. Okay. Well, since Othan's already explored it, I'll have him go up first. Okay. So he just moves through the. Uh, and one thing I had him do too, Jonathan, is is tell me which color the small color runes you move through. If he moved to blue last time, he'll move to blue this time. Okay. Uh, only if we step on them, or also if we just move through the... Yeah, it, it basically covers up the whole square. 
<laughs> and it, 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 when you move through it, it kind of you, your body mass covers the light going from the rune from the ground up to the ceiling. I would like to pass through the same runes that Othan passed through. Okay, so that would be the small blue. So I'm up next to him. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice shade of blood red. <laughs> uh, you guys, same rules. Yep. You guys make up your rune, and you see another rune there, that, um, but it has blood splatter marks that are leading off. Um, you can well, you can see it encompassing around the rune, and then also you see some trails moving off to the uh, east and to the south. Because uh, there is I, an opening to both those directions. Upon gazing at this bloodied rune and the blood trails, I turn back to the rest of the party and I say, <laughs> theoretically, with the the implements that we have, we could feed ourselves forever and just live in the tavern. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's kind of boring, to okay. be honest. Everybody <laughs> no offense, makes... but... Uh, <laughs> Your company would be the nicest thing for the next uh, <laughs> couple really well. uh, years. Yeah. <laughs> I need Volthier and Erishin both to make me stealth checks. You mean Othan? Uh, no, Volthier. You guys just talked. Oh, okay, got you. Um, you really want Kadaga to get cabin fever? <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's <okay>. right. <laughs> check my stealth. No so, shit. The whole room ignites in a huge <laughs> elemental <laughs> bolt. Escalated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so both uh, uh, need Volthir and Erishin. Thirteen. Both. Okay. Well, mine's better than his, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I have plus two to stealth. Okay. Wait, did that that cloak? Did that give us stealth? I don't remember. Cloak um, Elven kind does, I believe. Yes. Plus does it give you one think. or two? Okay, then I'd actually have fifteen stealth. Okay. Sure. Um. Let's go ahead and have everyone roll initiative oh, yes, at this yeah. point. Oh, yes. Actually, it was a 9 for me, too. I forgot to bust you. Everyone roll, sorry. What? Uh, initiative. Plus, 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 plus. Um. Upon... Um, Seeing the uh, the sigil and and Arishin replying that he um, doesn't want to live in a small cabin with me for the rest of his life, I pull out the imp tail and with a little crack of it, I say, uh, "Come out, Hesmagog," and I summon him to the square in front of me. Okay. <laughs> I let Hesmagog take the damage. Can you flip him horizontally? <laughs> <laughs> so he's looking. Hard. So he's looking the other way. <laughs> like this. <laughs> no, no, not a rotate. Oh, flip horizontal. Oh, like, there you go. Right, okay, right okay. Column. There you go. Actually, oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Uh, Over I there, don't want to go that way, master. Uh, there's another one of those nasty things, and I hear heavy breathing. I flick him in the air and I say, "I don't recall asking you." No. Did you did you roll initiative for him too then? Oh yeah, let me do that. Yeah. Mm, Hesmogog. Hesmogog. Initiate. That's intelligence check. Uh, oh, initiate. <coughs> initiative. Wow. Me too. Nice. Wow. Go Hezzy. He's not on the initiative tracker though. Uh, he should be He's at the bottom. Okay. Yep. I, oh, I see him right down there. I see him. Hmm. All right. Um, so you guys all of a sudden hear some heavy breathing. Um, the conversation between Volthier and Erishin was loud enough for it to alert whatever is in there. Volthier would, would know that, uh, okay, there's probably some more beholders here. Could I do um, an Arcana check through Hesmagog? Um, yeah, you can have ha have Hesmagog do an Arcana check on his turn. <laughs> no, and, 
Well, yeah. what, what, are we, what are you trying to do with him? What are you trying to produce? Just to him? have, like, the psychic link with him. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got plus nine Archon. That's not bad. Yeah. But, no, you, you can have uh, basically use him as a, just like a monster, you would, as a DM. Right. And But then anything he does, you will know because of your psychic link to him. Right, right. Okay. That was my question. We can okay. start the stuff. Okay. Um, and, uh, I think we would pretty much, um, yeah, I, I communicate to them telepathically, each one individually, or I don't know, maybe send out a blast wave of telepathic. But anyways, I tell them there's, I believe there's beholders ahead. Okay. Um, be on guard. Right. And I also telepathically <laughs> tell Hesmagog to shut the hell up. <laughs> yes, Master. Shut up. And I flick him in the ear when he says that. <laughs> what, Master? I mean, what, Master? <laughs> All right. Like, Arashim. Like face palm, and then just don't say anything else. <laughs> don't say anything. <laughs> Stupid imp is going to get us killed. All right. Uh, Arashim. So you hear what Volthyr said, and you're there. Um, <laughs> done. You, okay. For now, at least. Moves, moves up right directly to the room. Uh, make me an arcane uh, check, if you would, at that point. Okay. You... Wow. you <laughs> Erishin, <laughs> you would know that this rune in front of you is active. So you, uh, you, haven't, you haven't seen yeah. the properties of how this thing functions, but for some reason you, you come up to this rune and you would be like, okay, this thing is working. Yeah, the, let's say that uh, the bloodstains uh, um, were a pretty good tip on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I'll just uh, actually take a step back and uh, have uh, the guys who can actually understand something about that uh, handle it. Okay. <laughs> Ready an action uh, to direct the strike on uh, any enemy incoming. incoming. Okay. Hesmagog. I have Hesmagog move up and then perform an Arcana check to try and determine the purpose of this mark and the possibilities of disarming it, like maybe stepping on the red sigils or something. Okay, go ahead. And Hesmagog is groggy <laughs> for being in tail form. He's, he's, he's pissed at both of you right now, so he's like, ah, I don't care. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Um, I'll make him go invisible. Okay. Well, uh, put a... Green dot. Is it a green dot? I have no idea. Actually, yeah, put a green dot. That looks good. There oh, wait. Going. No, wait. There is a... Put a red dot for removed, even though it's not removed. Uh, I don't matter. Which, whichever one works. I like green. <laughs> I like red. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Put put the green dot on him. That that means he's uh, invisible. Gone. So he is actually gone from sight. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? That's for, it for Hesmagog. Okay. Volthier. I uh, one two three four five six. I walk up mumbling to myself. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-three. Okay, so you you go up and you determine what's that, Jonathan? I said, "Damn!" Oh, I know. <laughs> All the big rolls are coming out now. Don't waste them yet. <laughs> okay, um, you, you come up and start checking out the the rune, and you basically find out it's exactly like the other ones, but this one does not have a trigger. This one is active all the time. Yuppie. 
Did, um, also, I was looking to see if I could figure out any sort of way to disarm it or perhaps render it um, temporarily useless so that we can pass over it without yeah. causing more blood stains. Um, <laughs> well, you, you would know that there is definitely a way to disarm it, um, but you know your expertise, you're not trained in thievery, are you? Negative. Okay. You would need to have somebody trained in thievery to be able to do that. Um, that yeah, Avenir's got the uh, helm that lets him train himself in a skill yeah, once yeah, per encounter. Exactly. So Avenir is the only one. He's not trained in it, but the um, he's got two points. In it. I mean, that will his helm will allows him to be trained in it. So he is the only one in the party who would be able to begin to try to disarm this thing. Basically, I, uh, you both here you would know though that it's going to take a little more than just, you know, one simple action to try to disarm this trap. All right. Um, I use <laughs> my main action to downgrade it and to a move action, move back over here behind him. Mm -hmm. As I send telepathic messages back to um, Avenir, I say, you're needed up here, rogue. Okay. <laughs> and then... Right. Uh, as he makes his way forward, I will inform him on the nature of the trap and the fact that he needs to disarm it. Gotcha. All right. Um, also let him know that this seems like it could be a skill challenge. Yep. With that, um, you guys feel a sudden gust of hot air. Hesmagog. <laughs> and... A beholder appears from around the corner. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Kill it with fire. Yeah. <coughs> and <laughs> kill it with fire. God. <laughs> There's a blender between us. Maybe we can That's uh, an actually not on that beholder. That is not a undead beholder. You see Crap. it exactly as Volthier well as Hesmagog telepathically told Volthier, and Volthier described it to you guys. It looks exactly like the one, um, those who saw the one in the Beholder Chapel, looks exactly like him, just seems to be on a smaller scale and not as ominous. But still deadly nonetheless. Yeah. Um, so it comes around the corner, and it says something in a language. That... What language? Deep speech. Okay, I understand deep speech. Okay. And it says, Where? Where are they? Um, I kind of peek my head Speak around. Speak now or die! I, I peek my head around um, Arashin and uh, I ask him, Do, do you not have uh, dark vision? Uh, nope. <laughs> No, no, I'm saying that to the beholder. <laughs> <laughs> We're over here. Do you not have dark vision? Okay. A sudden... Uh, uh, a sudden um, ray comes shooting out of its center eyes. eye. <laughs> its center eye aiming towards Arashin. <laughs> Why do you always aim for me? Because <laughs> I said that while peeking over your shoulder. <laughs> and the imp is invisible. And and you can see by this this thing's reaction, it's not playing a game here. <clears throat> so it well, blasts. Uh, my um, trigger action triggers. Okay. So I direct the strike action. Uh, sorry, oh, not Thurston. Um, yeah, yeah. Avenir. Okay. What? Avenir can't see. Mm, Vautier. I always confuse Avenir and Vautier, you know. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's just out of range of Kadaga. Okay, so, yeah, do your turn first. Oh. Do your turn first for okay. the strike. And 21 then 21 versus Will? Oh, wait, 22 versus Will because Hasmagog's active. Yes. That will um, That is a hit. All right. 
Um, 17 damage. 17 damage. What type of damage is that? Psychic. Psychic. Psychic damage. Okay. You know, right. Like... It takes the, the psychic intrusion, or the mind thrust, it takes it and takes the damage, and it angers it all the more, and then it blasts out with a center eye, hitting Arashin right in the ch uh, in the legs, and it immobilizes him until the end of the Beholder's next turn. With that, it sends out a ray at Arashin <coughs> uh, from one of its small eyes. And it's going to hit. Is that right? Yes. That's against fortitude. <coughs> it basically then will slide Arashin four squares. <laughs> Yay! I love you. <laughs> so it pulls you right oh. through the trap. Hey, we get to find out what it does. That's yeah. right. <laughs> they know what it does. The trap triggers only once for, from the slide pulling you through. And makes an attack against Arashin. 27 versus your AC. Hits. You're no longer ameliorated. Yeah. And it does six damage. Whoa, look at wow. those horrible rolls. That's awesome. That was good. That was good for Arashin. You should have Indeed. control of your bubbles now, too, Arashin. Yeah, I'm um, just uh, updating them. Okay. The, um, the Beholder slid him too fast. <laughs> That's right. If you pull them so quickly, in mark your uh, immobilized with a blue dot, and then beholder lets off another ray. Now at the Jesus. exposed Volthier. Will I still have cover from Arashin? Um. Mm. No. no, because corner. for render strike, he picks the corner, so if he picks uh, the top yeah. one, uh, yep. you don't. And he is going to hit you with another eyeball from its uh, from one of its smaller eyeballs. He's going to hit me with an eyeball? Oh, no, he's going to, yeah, he, he shoots <laughs> at you with one of his smaller eyeballs. Uh, one of the other ones it comes out and slams into your fortitude. <laughs> Um, wow, yeah, he fucked my fortitude. Yep, and you are now slowed, and uh, if you fail you your first asleep. save, yeah, you'll fall unconscious. Okay, one second. So basically hit you with a sleep ray. One second, I have items. Okay, well, that's true, you do. Um, ugh, why is it not loading for me? And then the beholder will say again, Tell me where they are, or you all die. I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to look up what the amulet of resolution does, because I can't remember. Um, items. <clears throat> but you do, Volthyr, you do know that your attack did some pretty good damage to him. You can see that he's, he's he took uh, some pretty much you know a good hit off of that, but he is formidable. Nice. Okay, my amulet of resolution is going to be helpful. There you go. Racers of perfect shot. Also, don't forget about your elixirs. If anyone needs wants to look up and see what um, the party equipment available is, mm -hmm. just look on the current um, campaign information. The the late the last one that we put up for session fourteen, mm -hmm. it'll list all of that on there. All the elixirs. Um, I mean, you have elixir of fortitude, elixir of reflexes, elixir of will, a potion of water walking, a potion of water breathing and a lesser elixir of invisibility. Hmm. Water walking is no help. Nope. Closed, door, door. Not unless he's filling the area full of water. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Is his turn over? Uh, his turn is over, uh, if, unless you wanted to respond. Um, I say, they're back here around the corner, two of them, quickly. Okay. <laughs> um, go ahead and Dave, mark your... your uh, Dave is orange. Uh, you are slowed. And that's blue, right? That would be blue. Okay. No, I'm sorry, green. Green. Slow that's invisible. Green. <laughs> yeah, that's invisible. <laughs> You're now invisible. Okay, Othin is up. Jonathan. Does Othin. he say anything to my, they're back here around the corner? Oh, back here around the corner? Yeah, no. they're back here around the corner. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make me a bluff check. <laughs> okay. Um, my bluff is 10. Seventeen. Jay? Oh, damn. One, two, three, four, five. Does he have any range attacks? Yeah, okay. he's a beholder. <laughs> no, I'm talking. Othin? Yeah, no, he doesn't. He's all. No. I, didn't he have a crossbow at one time? Yeah, he does have a crossbow. <laughs> yeah, he does. Blue, plus four. <laughs> well, he's got a holy symbol, though, too. So he can range with uh, that, can he? Not yeah, unless but he, he doesn't have any it. attack uh, and range of attack. Oh. You, know, and you can do basic attack with implements. Joy. Yeah. Well, let's see what's that one do. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Screw it. He'll shoot him with his crossbow. <laughs> Okay. Uh, plus four versus AC. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could use direct the strike on Othin. Yeah, <laughs> direct the strike on Othin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so the crossbow, crossbow bolt jets out of his crossbow. <clears throat> so Othin's trying, like, i got to do something, and then, but the, uh, the bolt is just not powerful enough to penetrate through its hide armor. Oh, that's what it is? Okay, so it's not that he missed a creature the size of a barn. <laughs> no. <laughs> it didn't. It was not not strong enough. He, he His shot was on target. It's a large creature. Come on. Yeah. I just want to make sure. <laughs> that's right. I see it, guys. He shoots it and is like way off. Hits the wall. <laughs> I misjudged the arc. I'll get him next time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Like I said, this battle is going to be intense. You guys have had plenty enough downtime. <laughs> yeah. Another beholder comes pushing through and asks the same question. Where are they? Or you die now. And he's are you looking asking at, for he's the looking at Othin. He's looking at Othin because he can't really see. Well, I guess he can see. His eyes can see around to Volthyr and... Uh, but he's asking Othin, he's asking Arashin. I, uh, I'll respond telepathically to him, and I'll be, uh, would you care to elaborate uh, a little bit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. All right, here comes another eye jet. <laughs> All right, this one's going to target Othin. After a short pause, I say, is that a no? <laughs> Against Will, did that miss? That missed him. Okay, so the jet comes shooting out of the center eye of the beholder <clears throat> and strikes into um, Othin's legs, but he's able to fight off the effects of the immobilizing ray that shoots from the center eye. My trash talking is distracting him. That's right. <clears throat> no, you, you're, you're trash talking. You can tell that these beholders are not messing around. Oh, I can tell they're not messing around, but I can't help them if they don't <laughs> freaking elaborate. <laughs> they are not messing around, and they are not elaborating. <laughs> okay, and then he's going to send out a, another ray out of his eye. One is going to go at Othin, and one is going to go at Arashin. 
So the first one strikes out at Othan from one eye, and it shoots like a, a fiery ray shooting over Othan. 25 versus his reflex will hit. So oh, yeah. 12 fire damage onto Othan. <clears throat> and then it shoots its other ray at... Um, at Arashin. Oh, just barely hits. Unless you have anything to up your fortitude. No, I don't. Uh, I'm showing are you your wearing the Elven Cloak? Yeah. yeah. That's plus two to your defenses. You are wearing the uh, Elven Cloak. Yeah, if it's a plus two... Yeah, I actually still have the level one cloak, so my fortitude is 19. That's right. Oh, it is. Yeah, I was going to say. Because I in my sheet, uh, I still have the, um, the, amulet of first, uh, sorry, the Amulet of Resolution plus one. Okay, so what, look. what are actually your defenses right now, then, with, with what you have um, on? 22, 19, 18, 18. Okay, 19, 18. Okay, because I had you at 18, 17, 17. Yeah, that's uh, with uh, my plus one cloak instead of the plus two one. Uh, actually, your AC is 23 because of Othin. No, it's not. I'm the only one that doesn't benefit from that. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. Oh, I didn't know because that. Because uh, I'm already using a shield. Gotcha. All right, so it misses um, the eye protruding around the corner. You notice that the eye definitely try the, the the tentacle that the eye is on is definitely trying to stay out of the range of the uh, bomb. Yeah, control. of the of the thing. So they know that it's there. Okay. Um, so if I would have if I would attack uh, me let the beholder next to me. I would trigger the the trap again. If you move through it, yes. Uh, if I don't, but I attack through it. Oh no! Um, well, yeah. Now you're gonna attack through it. Depends on what the attack is. Um, Miller's wing. Okay. Yeah, you will trigger the trap. Crap. <laughs> because you gotta, you gotta. Well, no, I'll give this. I will give you the, your melee attack around the corner. Um. That you would do it in a style of like where you'll swing your sword at it and then pull your arm back out before the trap can trigger. Even though the trap will trigger, you're not in a square to where it can hit you. Okay. Um, but I'm going good. to give Very cover. Nice. I'm going to give cover to the beholder though. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. that. I think that's standard if you attack uh, yeah. through a corner. Yep. Yeah. We've already begun fighting this guy. So yeah. we could theoretically kill him, and if this guy knows what this thing does, he probably won't cross it, so we could actually just like run over here if we wanted to. Yeah, I, I do agree. Yep. I would uh, concentrate on uh, the one the, on the right. Okay. And if this guy does pass over the trap, then it's just to our benefit. Right. Mm. right, right. Okay, so uh, the sleep ray goes goes wide of Arashin, just kind of bounces off the walls and heads down the hall. Kadaga. You see the drama unfolding before you. Kadaga. The how, does Kada of drama. how does how does Doc, how does Kadaga feel about this? <laughs> he feels hot. <laughs> <laughs> he feels the flames begin to boil within his loins. He's like fighting gets me so hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not the beholder, the lava boulder fall. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. I'm just gonna blast the one down the hall. Okay. With the elemental bolt. All right, let it fly. That's a hit. That's some serious damage. Oh, no, that was almost max. It was max on the D12? Yeah. Okay, so 27. <laughs> okay. So fire just erupts from the bolt right into the hide and penetrates it through and sears into him. But he's not quite bloodied yet. He's mm -hmm. taken some serious damage and you can see it's enraged now. There, There's no no talking with these things anymore. Or this one here at least. It's <laughs> enraged. It's, it's, it's going to the death now. Anything else no. from Kadaga? 
Nope. Action point? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, action point it up. Okay, go ahead, uh, Avenir. Here's all the battle erupting around the corridor and seeing everybody move in. <laughs> uh, moves there. Okay. Uh, minor action to mark uh, the um, the builder, uh, the lower builder. The one that's taking damage. Uh, no, oh, the other lower. one. The lower only one okay. he can mark. It's a burst two. And gotcha. ready an action to strike him if you lace the mark. Gotcha. To strike at him if he what? Yeah, if he violates the mark. So it teleports, uh, do the mark punishment, and then uh, the, the ready action. Okay. So you teleport and get two hits instead of one. Gotcha. All right. Arashin, you are uh, prone, isn't it? What were you? Uh, uh, no, immobilized, which is yeah, worse. Yeah, you're immobilized, yep. And which goes to the end of his next turn, which is not yet. It's not that bad. You have uh, you can grant the strike on Kadaga. And yeah, um, I'm debating if uh, granting the strike on Kadaga or going all out with the daily, but I think I could save the daily uh, for a better time. So, I'll uh, Dragon Fear. Okay. And then uh, grant a strike to Kadagan. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to escalate this one so that it hits both of them. Ooh, that's going to put Arashin in there too. Uh, All right. no, where is Dragon Fear? You're going to take a minus two. No, it's Elemental Bolt lets me hit both of them if I escalate it. Oh, that's right, that's right. You get the two attacks. So you get, okay. Perfect. Why am I rolling as Oath and Bah? Oh, <laughs> over here going like, I got this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots off a, a crossbow um, bolt. Yeah, it's a uh, hit. Lower and uh, wait, first there's dragon free actually, but uh, lower and top, lower and top, uh, fifteen and eighteen against will. Uh, fifteen against will is not enough. Eighteen against will is not enough. Okay, Dragon Fear misses. Ten, I grant the strike to Kadaga. Yeah, so basically, Erishin uh, lets out a huge roar, trying to scare these beholders, and it doesn't. It almost phases them, but then they refocus back on like your lunch. <laughs> Twenty-four fire damage to both 20, of them. Both of them. Okay. Yep. Your no, lunch, but you're sorry. the one getting cooked. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the Kadaga fires into him. And the top one is now bloodied, hurting bad. And I still have a move action, but I don't think I have anything, uh, any condition going on. No? Fire breath. Oh, wait, you got dragon beard. No, Never any mind. condition, dragon I mean. Uh, you just immobilize <laughs> us all. Yes, just me, and that's not a save end, so I'm done. Okay. All right. Hesmagog. I tell Hesmagog to uh, get um, back here. Uh, immobilize, sorry, immobilize was where was till the end of my next turn or the beholder next uh, turn? Beholders next okay. turn, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Hesmagog is still invisible. He's in the back. Yeah. He's back there. I tell him to move back there to watch my back and go invisible. So he stays invisible basically. Yeah. Um, can, is that a minor sustain or something? I think he just stays invisible, doesn't it? It's, no, uh, it's, yeah. no, it's, it's not invisible? a minor sustain, but uh, it's, it's uh, you can use a minor action every turn to reactivate since it's a twill. Yeah, it's at the end of its next turn or until it hits or misses with an attack. Okay, so basically it just stays invisible. Yeah, yeah so I him. just keep throwing that out there. It doesn't say that it's a minor, but I just assumed it was like a... Standard at will. It's a standard, actually, is what it is. A standard at will. Ah. So that's why he, it keeps him from either attacking, because I guess the attack would drop the invisibility off, and then he's mm -hmm. visible. So instead of making it so, if you made it a minor, he could just stay and attack well, each round. Actually, if it's not written, the attack wouldn't break the invisibility, but it still ends on the turn after he, he used it. So yeah. It says yeah. attacks break it. Yep, attacks, attacks okay. misses or attacks do break it. So, okay, 
I just uh, assumed it would be standard because it would be OP as a minor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so I, I have a move behind me. Tell him to watch my back and mm -hmm. remain invis. And then on my turn, I will try to uh, psychically speak to this beholder here. Whoops, I didn't mean to move him. <laughs> yeah. Again, to everybody, this yeah, thing. Othan and Avenir, everybody has control of him, so you just have to be careful. This beholder right here, mm -hmm. I send a, a psychic link to him, and I say, um, um, if you cannot elaborate, then I can only extrapolate, and based off how your friend is getting destroyed, I assume he lost his manhood. Now, what have you lost? <laughs> your manhood as well, I see. <laughs> Um, yeah. Now go ahead and make because you're intruding, you're intruding into his mind, right? It's a telepathic link. It's not an attack. Yeah. No, no it's just, not an attack. But you're you're making you're making a connection with this thing's mind. Okay. Right. Uh, right. Go ahead and make me a intelligence check, if you would. Intelligence check. Plus seven. Plus yeah, plus seven. Okay. Roll. Okay. Seventeen. As you're intruding into his mind, you, you do notice that this creature is really intelligent. Is actually above intelligent, above average intelligence. And um, but you will, as you intrude into his mind or are telling those things, you know that this thing is not going to elaborate on what it's talking about, but it's more, um, it's just focused in on killing. Right. Okay. Um, so, it, yeah. Then I'll, <laughs> I'll say to the, aloud to the party, um, they are strong and intelligent creatures, but clearly under the thumb of someone much more powerful. They will not elaborate. Yep. Well, kind of that it, backhanded insult to them. Yeah, I actually I explained that to you a little bit wrong. <laughs> no, I know but that's what I'm so, saying. I'm yeah, they're so enraged him. right now that there's no way for them to get out of the rage mm -hmm. and to begin a conversation, so to say. Oh, I know, and I'm just further yeah. adding fuel to the fire and say they're they're basically too weak to have the willpower to elaborate because they're under right. someone's thumb. Yeah, gotcha. just just being a total dick to him. Yeah. So what you can what you can understand from it too is that they're looking for them, whoever them is. <laughs> whoever and, they are. Yeah. <laughs> them. Whoever them are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> whoever them is. <laughs> yeah, it's another Colorado sitting. But um they're they're looking for this them and it's somebody that is important to them. So we're looking for the they who is important to them. All right. Uh, what else would Volthir you like to do? All right. That was just a minor. Yes. Volthir is going to just do a standard mind thrust attack on the wounded one. Okay. 17 versus will is a miss. 17 versus will is a miss. All right. And as a free action, I will go ahead and go prone to make myself a little bit harder to hit. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, get to the ground. I'm squishy. So, yeah, kinda, I kind of I go prone, and then um, I'm going to make my saving throw. Okay. And it fails, so I'm going to use my item, which grants me another saving throw. Okay, oh, I ahead. thought you didn't have anything to uh, save ants. I do not even ask the uh, before. He, he's got the he has the sleep effect. Yeah, you're slowed right now, but if you fail, I'm, oh, I'm freaking! I'm yeah. So you're already unconscious. So <laughs> as I lay down, <laughs> I go to. <laughs> Well, you're you're kind of focused in on your falling down to the ground and everything, and your intrusions and everything. But then everything the the effect from the ray just didn't leave you, and your your mind just kind of seems slowed from everything, and your whole body just goes. Ugh, you just slump over. So I go down prone in like this active combat position, like I'm prepared to combat crawl away yeah. if necessary, and then I'm like <laughs> focusing all of a sudden. I'm like. 
<laughs> so mark it, mark it with a blue and a red dot too now. Uh, wait, does your does your amulet grant your save or allows you to roll one? He, my he rolled Agnes one. Is a daily to grant me to save if I fail to save? My armor gives me perception. Yeah. Uh, so then you actually didn't use the amulet. I didn't because, use it. Uh, no, because when you fail the save, you're unconscious, so you cannot activate the amulet to grant you another save. Yeah, that's true. So you haven't used oh, it. Oh, that's true. Because your first <laughs> failed save. That's right. So yeah, then keep your amulet for the daily on the amulet for now. But well, <laughs> well do you get a save yeah. to wake up from unconsciousness, or is that um unconscious? Someone has to wake you up. Basically. Yeah, it's the uh, save ends. No, it's uh, it dead ends from, from yeah. what you paste. So instead of slowed now, you're unconscious and the save ends. So on the end of your next turn, uh, you'll be able to go ahead and try to save for that. <laughs> so then, if I'm unconscious, I only get one save. Yep. 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 Can one more person say yep? Oh, there's no more <laughs> people here. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, so I'm laying on the ground, <laughs> passed out. <laughs> At least I'm going to be hard to hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, because now you're helpless and you uh, minus five to all your defenses. Yep. So but plus, plus two, two because it's from and yeah. plus two for being behind Avenir. Yeah, but in, in in fourth edition etiquette, monsters don't attack unconscious people. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I read that etiquette. in the DM's guide. <laughs> Monster etiquette, and when they do attack, they have their pinky out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. It is now. His turn. So I missed my attack and passed out. What a freaking fail turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the beholder is going to move one square forward. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then he is going to... Yeah, you're immobilized, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yep. Well, he's going to try to move you back through the <laughs> little thing now. So I love you. Yep. <laughs> uh, wait, is that, a, is, is that a ranger attack? It is. So he provokes. Yeah, no, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Using IRAs do not provoke opportunity attacks. But uh, that the central eye, not an IRA. Are, are you... uh, no, that this is not the central eye. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, the central eye would provoke, but he's going to telekinesis you first. <laughs> so he, he uses that same eye that pulled you through the barrier. He's going to use it again. 24 <laughs> gets your fortitude will hit. <laughs> One, oh, two, three, four. He'll just slide you right there. And I feel like a popping in the wind. <laughs> 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 and then the blades will make an attack against you. 21 against AC is a miss. I think that's a miss, yeah. That is a miss. And he saves himself from 17 damage. So the blades just kind of skip off your armor and kind of make a clanking sound as they, <laughs> they shatter through as it, the beholder thrusts you through the, uh, um, the blade barrier once more again. Now, we just stop that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Does Kadaga have cover? Yeah, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> from Othin? From yeah, yeah. from eight or to me, depending on the on who's acting. But uh, yeah, okay. it does. It's gonna shoot its next ray at uh, one that you guys have not seen yet. It's gonna shoot at Kadaga. So it'll give you a pl This is going against your fortitude, though. He's going to shoot a happy ray at you. So it still gives you a plus two, right? Kadaga's yeah. going to be in a good okay. mood after that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I just don't want to burn anybody anymore. I just want to burn, I just want to burn both here. <laughs> I want to get that power from Captain Planet, you know, heart. <laughs> I want to shoot heart bolts at people. <laughs> now, see, I'd be the Don Cheadle Captain Planet. That's right. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> tree, 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 all tree, tree. <laughs> no, he's, he'll shoot him with a ray that'll all of a sudden make the beholder turn into a huge lava ball that suddenly starts rolling at Kadaga again. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, another new ray coming out at you. 19 versus Fortitude just hits. Yep. Oh, Ooh. man. Minimum damage, though. Weakened five, saving. Five necrotic damage, and you're weakened saving. Weakened is bad. <laughs> yeah. So it kind of did turn you into the heart laser now. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> yep. So all your damage is halved, right? Yeah, so I guess I'll be doing... Everyone else's level of damage. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pompous ass. <laughs> my hey, damage is close, close to yours. I can ignite him now. That's true. My damage well, is the probably closest. Just all, uh, what's his name? Third again. <laughs> yeah. He's going to sit and pull Erishing back and forth, back and forth. It's not doing anything. All right. Um, I think that's all he can do. Oh, no, he's still got a central eye. Ah, let's immobilize somebody. Okay, um, because it's coming to end his turn, let's go ahead and do it again to Erishin. He likes um, to go back and forth. If Othin's kind of useless being melee on the other side of a blender, mm -hmm. could he use aid defense and help uh, Erishin not get pulled through again? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but on his turn. Not on his turn, turn, yeah. Uh, well, not his on mine, not on the builder. Yeah. His, his turn is next, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, so, Erishin, you see the central eye also jet out to at you again towards your legs. And it misses. Mm. Ha! That's right. So, you will no longer be immobilized right now. Othin. Othin is going to... Man, you guys have not really taken any damage hardly at all. I know. Nothing is going to. Uh, it can use shooting light on either uh, Kadaga or um, uh, uh, Votio. Mm -hmm. He might need it on himself if he just moved through the trap. Yeah, he just moved through well, the. Uh... Well, shooting light <laughs> is uh, granting a save. Doesn't. Oh, yield. yeah, that is, that's a close burst, too, so hold on. Okay, you move yeah. back first. <sighs> Man, you're in the can... way. <laughs> Can you use it on um, um, Avenir? Uh, Vautier, sorry. All right, soothing light on both here with a plus two. Okay. So make a save throw. Yeah. Save plus two. <laughs> no! Hey, <laughs> you just hear snoring. <laughs> no like, I'm, I'm comfortable where I'm at. <laughs> Awake by the power of the light. And so he's going to move there to instead? Yep. Okay. So we'll make the attack for the Whirling Blades. 18, Miss. and it misses. Wow. And, uh, Brand of the Sun, 28 versus AC. Whack. Why Brand of the Sun? Because it lets me give Kadaga a saving throw. Ah, there you go. Is it within 5, 1, 2, 3, Yep. yep. It, it is. is. It Whoops. is. Okay, uh, 28 is a hit against AC. Woohoo! Kadaga's not weakened. <laughs> and oh, is that is that Kadaga's saving throw? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then the and damage what's the damage? One d eight plus six. One d eight plus six. Nine damage, and that's the one uh, that's marked by. Yep. Okay, so nine damage. Hey, that was a good turn. Uh, Go I'm open. not done yet. And he's not done yet. No, <laughs> go, Othin go. is going go, to ignite. Uh, so yeah. you use the miner with the soothing <laughs> light. Who Did else needs a saving throw? Vothir still. Vothir? Yep. Okay. Sunburst with an action point. Okay. So wisdom plus 11 versus AC. Ah. Oh. Oh, just missing. I tried. He wait, wait. But the effect still happens, though, right? The effect still happens. It's not conditional on a hit. Oh, is it? Yep. Um, you can ally within five squares. You gain five temporary yeah. hit points and can make a saving throw. Each ally. Each with ally. Each. You and each ally. Also, no gambit is wasted. Hey, Volthier saves. <laughs> 
So I take both dots off of me then? Um, the first dot was, what was it? Slowed, and now it was... Okay, you're just still prone. You're still prone, though. Oh, yeah. prone is blue, blue? Blue, yeah. Okay. Uh, 23 against AC hits. Uh, 23 against AC? I already factored uh, in the cover. Oh, I didn't see your roll. I don't see your roll. He got roll. a 25. He's using his uh, no gambit is wasted on uh, Othan's missed attack yep. and counter power. Oh, is everyone's roll? Is Erishin's roll showing up? Yeah, he yeah, got a 25. Oh, 20. I see it up top. Okay, I see. 25 versus AC is a hit. Actually, it's 23 because he has a partial color. Since I'm attacking oh, through okay. you're, you're attacking the one that was marked by Avenir, right? Yeah. You said 12 damage? Uh, if 23 still hits, he has 12 20, damage. 23 still uh, hits. And uh, Otin didn't expand uh, his encounter power. Uh -huh, cool. Oh, wow. Nice. Go, Ereshi. <laughs> That's a slap in the face. <laughs> and here you it's guys were all beneficial. worried about these guys. <laughs> it was beneficial that you missed. So I get 5 temp, you were saying? Yeah, yeah everybody gets 5 temp. Mm -hmm. Sweet. And can make a saving throw, which nobody needs to, so it's all good. Well, I already made mine. Dang, oath and go. <laughs> go, go. Now it's the end of his turn. That's in turn. Okay, now it's the beholder's turn. Um, he is first going to slide Othin so that he has to. Ding ding! Mark punishment yeah. incoming. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Uh, so but doesn't he, have, doesn't he have to make the attack first, though? <laughs> uh, first teleport, ten attacks twice. <laughs> okay. But no, but does he has to do it after the attack uh, yes, goes, right? Yes, after the attack. the attack roll, but it's before any effects happen. Okay, is, so let me go ahead and make the attack isn't roll Isn't it only on if him. the guy hits, though? Uh, That's like what was let weird me about. Yes, I think it is. No, makes this, an attack that his... doesn't include you as a target. Min minus penalty. Oh, only if it hits you. Right. Yeah, Sorry. Right. Okay. So let's give it a shot here. Crap is annoying. I remember that about. Twenty-one against fortitude is a hit. Okay, so you get. Ding ding. Okay, go ahead and do the air sheens from Avenirs. Okay, melee basic attack. It's a plus. Uh, 11, 1d10 plus 6, so it's actually plus uh, 13. Okay. That 20, just, that's AC, right? Yeah, that's AC. That's a hit. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Just just barely <laughs> penetrated through his, his uh, hide. Oh, plus, did you add the flanking bonus just in case? Oh, yeah, I no. did. Okay. That I would did make it 19. Uh, the flanking okay. bonus. So that just hit. Uh, 9 damage. Okay. And then uh, uh, I'm using a Booming Blade. Uh, so that's the uh, same attack, basically. Okay. okay. Hit. Uh, nine. nine uh, that's uh, Thunder Damage. Thunder Damage. Okay. All right. He's bloodied, too. Both of them get bloodied. Ooh. Um, oh, uh, uh, also, um, that actually, we'll keep the rules as they, as they are. A beholder cannot be flanked. Okay, so that's 17, uh, so that's actually 15 and uh, 16. Yeah. So, miss both, I think. Uh, no, one of them missed. I'll just put the, the, the first one missed is all. So okay, nine so nine that's uh, nine damage. Uh, yep. Uh, He's still last. bloody, though. Yep. All right. Then we will slide Othin over to here. We'll attack him with the whirling blades. Since he was already in the trap, would that would it trigger again? Uh, it does trigger again anytime you move into any square of it. With it, well, if you had one move action, it attacks you once in and through. But since he stopped right here, the blades are basically still going. Okay. So when it slides, I mean, it would you know it goes a slide like that. You go here, here, and then here. 
So it's all, I'm only making the slide as one attack against him instead of each square. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Attack against his AC. And <laughs> misses. Is the trap ring combat? I know. <laughs> the trap busts into a million pieces. It's no longer in effect. Trap no, and we all get hit. That's right. No. Ah, um, I did it with uh, Booming Blade. So if uh, the Beholder is adjacent to me at the start of my next turn and moves away, mm -hmm. uh, it takes damage. Okay. If it moves away. Yeah, yeah, during his next turn. Yeah. Well, it's going to turn its eye on to old uh, Avenir there, and it's going to blast him out with a with a fire ray. 22 versus Reflex for 10 fire damage. Uh, that's a hit. Yep. Is Avenir wearing his uh, cloak? Avenir uh, is wearing his cloak. Okay. I think you have the, the, the new cloak. Yep. Yeah, if he has a new cloak, it's a 21 re reflex. Yep, so just a, barely yeah, hit. Just, yeah, yep. still it. Yep. Uh, okay, he took the damage. Okay. 10 damage, and... Let's see. What does it want to do now? Those are standards. Um, uh, also remember that um, Avenir marks are minus three. Yes. Not minus two. Oh, to its attack. Yeah. Uh, against. Oh, uh, it, when it when it attacks uh, somebody that it's not its yeah. target. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The marks are minus three instead of the usual minus two. Right. So. so eighteen minus two. Average. I still would have hit just exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, this thing can squeeze though, can it? Uh, I think so. Yep, the movement can squeeze. So we'll go one, two, three, four, four. All right, it moves away from Avenir. Uh, it would provoke, I think. Um, yes, it will. Go ahead. Uh, I attack with... Uh, uh, how that's called... Uh, Wait, no, you, uh, will, you will get an opportunity to attack because it's got cover against you. How? Uh, you're talking Arashin, right? No, I also Avenir. Arashin, but I was still Craig Avenir. Also Arashin, yeah. Okay, but uh, I thought it doesn't cover, uh, not provoke? No, I think uh, it was, cover just it was... grants you cover when you provoke. Oh, okay. So, so he'll, he'll, move, he'll basically move there, so go ahead and make your... Uh, oh, First, uh, um, Arashin. Mm -hmm. First Arashin. Yeah. That's 1d20 plus, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> why I actually have to check since I have the macro. Okay. Uh, 17 against AC, so 15 actually. Yeah, so that would miss. Uh, 10. Do you need great combat advantage for squeezing? Uh, <laughs> Does it? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I not sure, but uh, then there's uh, Avenir that's using Frigid Blade, mm -hmm. which is not a melee basic attack, so it's not. Can you use Frigid Blade on an opportunity? Oh, yeah, it's not. You can't. So you use uh, just a melee basic. Okay. Uh, let's see. Squeezing. Half speed. Grant combat advantage. Oh, okay. So grant combat That's advantage. Quite as big. So yeah. that would still would miss, though. The 17 would miss? Uh, no, actually, 17 would hit. So mm -hmm. that's uh, 11 from me and 16 from uh, uh, Avenir. So what about Booming Blade? He moved away. 27. Yep, 27. Oh, yeah, man. but Booming Blade, uh, if... Um, um, you can only move half uh, speed. Uh, if only, it triggers only if it's... Squeezing, you only move half speed? half speed? Yep. So okay. he'd be squeezed next to... Well, no, because yeah. he can the squeeze. You can go any number of squares. One, two, three. One, which would put him right there. Two, three. Because it'd be like one. Yeah, you have uh, three squeezing squares basically. Movement. Okay. Two, and, uh, normal. Three. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> um. 
Oh, wait. No, wait a second. Yeah, it's, it's my movement is six fly. So. Yeah, there. Okay. That works. Wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait a second. Because you're looking up squeeze for a character squeezing, right? Well, that's yeah. just how any creature uses it. I thought, no, there was a squeeze that was a special ability of large creatures. Large uh, creatures. No, it's, uh, I, I never heard that, sorry. Okay. Could be, but I never heard that. Let me look. I thought there was, maybe it's an ability. No, there are some feats that let you squeeze. Yeah, it could be a special ability of a couple of monster, but I don't large or huge or gigantic that. creature squeezes the size character. It increases. For instance, one. a large creature that squeezes its effective medium during the squeeze as it's triggered. Okay, yeah, no, that's right. Okay, no, we're good. You're right. All right. I'd then, look at <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like I. I know other games where they do the squeezing, they don't provoke and all that kind of stuff, so that kind of threw me off. But squeezing doesn't provoke on its own. Yeah, Actually, it provoked it just does. because you left uh, <laughs> uh, uh, three the uh, threatened zones. Yeah. yeah. All right, this thing's going to action point. On a side note, how much would it suck to be squeezed into a tiny hall with a beholder trying to go past you? I can just yeah. picture a Avenir like going, oh, God. <laughs> it's like over over testicles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah All right. This is a very uncomfortable height for me. <laughs> okay, he's going to use a telekinesis ray with his action point against Avenir. 18 and versus yes. 42. Think. No, it's a, it's a totally sorry. Yep, that just hit. Yep. Uh, he's going to slide him four squares. Uh, cloak. He's minus five penalty until the squeeze ends. <laughs> yeah, but he, the squeeze did end. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah, Damn. he action pointed. I was trying to help you, Yeah. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, you he slid him. I thought he died. I was like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead. Like, no one kills Avenir but me, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> 25 against AC from the Whirling Blades. Is Definitely a hit? hit. Yep. Just hit for 11 damage. Ouch. And then you have... Ereshin has cover against him. Uh, and, yes, I do. Okay. He is going to use... A fire. Well, let's do fire. Yeah, let's do fire. He's going to do his fire ray. Uh, the the beholder uses two eye ray powers. This is a standard action. Uh, uh, yeah, eye rays. Like yeah, he gets to use, but they have to be two different targets always. So I've been make sure we've been doing that. Uh, fire ray coming at Arashin with cover. So this will take a negative two to it. Eighteen. So it's sixteen. Misses. Uh, Reflex? Yep. Yep, that misses. All righty. Ha ha. <laughs> ha ha, beholder. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I actually can do something. Yeah, yeah, because he's marked by. Uh, no, happening. I can't because I already used my immediate. Okay. Ah, but now him. he attacked somebody else that was not Avenir. I mean, yeah, but he also already used the, his immediate uh, for putting Oh, event. okay, it was an encounter. Yeah, okay. Kadaga. All right. Uh, Kadaga will move up to where he can see both of them and do his second escalated elemental bolt. Okay. 26 versus reflux. That is a hit. 22 plus 1d10. Ouch. 26, 26 fire damage to each. All right. So One stupid. goes down. That's freaking stupid. You're just like... <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure that Kadaga did 80% of the damage in this fight while I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you are just like waking up and it's like, what's going on? And all these fire bolts are going well, off. That depends oh, if fighting? you count uh, direct strike as mine or Kadaga damage. Yeah. <laughs> mine. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of... No, it's arguable. mine. 
much. <laughs> That's, my... <laughs> That's true because you direct shredded. Okay. Maybe you could both get credit for it. How about that? Yep. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> now, the one beholder did die and nothing came out of it. So it's just lying there in a heap on Wait, the floor. Beholders don't have blood? <laughs> I don't know. It, it definitely has Not blood. Not when it gets incinerated. That's true. <laughs> it just turns to a, a baked potato. We're going for nice blood reduction here. Yeah. I'm going to end a combat with an action point. This is wrong. <laughs> He's the one to take him all out. <laughs> uh, if that stupid trap wasn't there, I would have moved up one more and tried to finish it off the dragon breath. But True. Oh well. I'll be done. You can go through the. Oh, you're not. You're not going to action point. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right, Avenir. Move star. Okay, the whirling blades will attack him once. Twenty-three versus AC misses. Uh, misses. Um, uh, from the ground. Marks the beholder just for kicks. Before you and go to attack. him. Wait, wait! Before you attack, as you're moving forward, Vathir sends you a tell. Uh, um, link a tell. Yeah. <laughs> link. I'm like, oh, hey, um, shouldn't we try and question him, like intimidate him or something? <laughs> well, um, I'll let you guys okay. decide. It's still toxic, but uh, goes for uh, uncautiousness. Okay, non-lethal damage. Actually, um, in Fort, uh, you just don't have to say little and little. When you can knock someone out, uh, you can choose to uh, hit to be dead or unconscious. Right. Uh, yeah. Zwerb bars. 20 against reflex. Uh, that's a hit. Doing... 10 damage. damage, and he knocks him unconscious. Now, how do you mark uh, that damage? Because he's basically at zero when unconscious, right? Yeah, you just put him at zero. Yeah. Okay. He goes at uh, zero. And okay. then when we slap him in the face to wake him up, he goes up to 1.8 HP. You can just make up and be older. <laughs> Here, I'll mark him as an X, and he's unconscious. And he's still marked. Roll him okay. up. Roll him up and mark with an X. <laughs> That's right. So the beholder, he's also dropped down prone too. Yeah. He yeah. would be laying on the ground. He would be laying on the ground on his side. All right. He is unconscious. All right. Um, well, that's um, I mean, if yeah. you want to question him uh, before, I would just like um, put some. Uh, uh, clothes uh, something uh, on uh, on its size, so it's uh, it would be less of danger. Okay, let's stick all its eyes in our bag of holding. <laughs> 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 How awkward would that look like, though? Seriously, if you put like socks on all of his eye stalks. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's what I actually meant. Like uh, a sock on an eye stalk. Now Everybody. you have to you have how many to eye stalks do does he have, and how many feet do we have? <laughs> well, he, he has four four eye stalks and no feet. <laughs> I um, as uh, Avenir, I mean, I'm sorry, Arishin proposes this. I'm like, I am not putting my socks on that thing. <laughs> well, and you have to remember the central eye too. Well, he mobilizes us. Yeah. 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 All right, so how you, now you got to keep in mind your party equipment. How are you going to do this? Um, anyone got some spare cloth? Some what? Spare just cloth. Kind of spare this cloth. Mm -hmm. Hey, what about your your um, cloak of infinite items of <laughs> usefulness? How yeah. about you just pull out a bag full of socks? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was one mundane item you could use. Yeah, a bag. <laughs> a bag of socks. <laughs> a bag of socks. Um, <laughs> I gotta make you roll for that one. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Just pull out a giant sack, and we just put him in this giant sack. Just use some rope and uh, tie all his eyes so they're facing. We could poke his eye his out. Body. I mean, well, I, I don't think that it would be very collaborative if, if we poke all of his eyes. No, tie his eyes up with a rope so that they're all facing his body, so if he attacks, 
they're going to hit himself. Yeah, that, that could work. Wait, wait, wait. The tavern. There's blankets and all yeah, kinds of crap in there. Yeah, that's true. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so get your ramp to fetch some blankets. Uh, that might be a bit far. <laughs> he can only <laughs> go so far, dude. But um, um, on that note... Watch a useless creature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a piece of crap. I smack him in the back of the head and then unsummon him. <laughs> he's invisible. You can't see him. I know where he is. I'm psychically linked to him. That's true. And I, I smack him in the back of his head, grab his tail, and give it a little whip, and say, Be gone. Tuck his tail into my belt and walk okay. back to the tavern. All right. And before I turn the corner, I'm like, um, Keep an eye on him. <laughs> and then you hear a voice inside your head Don't separate the party. Fuck you. Okay. All right. I come in here and get. Yeah, buddy. I'll, just a second. I get the appropriate <laughs> low cases and various items that I need. Mm -hmm. and then I walk back up to here. Right, just a second, baby boy. I'll get you in just a second. And I use my teleport thing, so I teleport to the other side of the trap by where Air, uh, Avenir is, and mm -hmm. then I walk through and I come over, and as I do it, I kind of toss people pillowcases, and each person gets a pillowcase, and we begin bagging and tagging them. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to, are you going to, you're going to bag the eyes, and yeah. then the whole beholder? We're going to bag just, his eyes. Just the eye stalks. Okay. And then his main eye, all it does is immobilize, so it'd be a nuisance at best. Okay. Yeah, and uh, if it tries uh, to like, I don't know, uh, use the fire eye to break uh, the uh, the socks, the the, <laughs> the tissue, <laughs> uh, I don't think that would be very pleasant for him, since okay. it's basically burning something uh, like uh, uh, half an inch uh, from his eyes. Okay. Right. Right. Now you have you have um, the party separated because you dimensional warped over the top of that, right? Over the trap. Yeah. Okay. So I I warped over the trap so that I wouldn't have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. um, it's called shard swarm. Shard swarm. That's right. And uh, then I came over here and I began bagging the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, so he's all bagged up and he's for the most part um, useless. Okay. So what else would you like to do? I, uh, um, in the meanwhile, I inspired, inspired word on um, Avenir. Okay. So yeah, maybe we should uh, take a short rest while he's unconscious. Yeah. So I that agree. everyone can get healed up, and he'll have some time to kind of cool down from his rage. Mm -hmm. Now, in a sense, the beholder is dying, right? No way, it's unconscious. That's right, because you just knocked it unconscious. It's yeah. not lethal yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So He's when does it wake up, though? Black That's eye. the question. End of the encounter, I, or when someone does it? I think the, at the okay. end of our short rest, probably. We'll, we'll say that up. when you guys decide to slap it around, it will wake yeah. up. Yeah, I mean, okay. splitting hairs, you know, ultimately, if he woke back up, we just conk his ass right back out and continue to rest. Yeah. So what, um, what, what else? Okay, so you bag the eyes, and what else would be done to the beholder? We uh, packed all his eyes, and he's just kind of laying there, drooling, unconscious, and we kind of sit around him and catch our breath before okay. continuing the interrogation. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, well, everybody performed no. the healing necessary. I didn't take any damage. Okay. Yeah, yeah I healed um, um, Avenir, and I don't think anyone else needs some serious healing. Not yet, at least. Nope. You guys make quick work of this this beholder. <laughs> so if if everybody's ready, we can proceed then. Sounds good. All right, I uh, go over to Does it eat anything? But uh, what was that? What? Yeah, what yeah. After game is broken, uh, um, under common, I can't uh, understand that. Undercommon? Uh, oh, the language he speaks. He's speaking, uh, yeah, in Undercommon. Yeah. Ershin cannot understand Undercommon. So he's asking uh, if, if he can speak in any um, comprehensible language. 
Um, I don't know. He speaks deep speech, but oh, deep speech, yeah. I, My bad. I, well, same same difference. Um, I kind of stand up and I grab the two long tentacles that are like his tentacle mustache thing that he has going on there, mm -hmm. and I kind of give it a, like a hi ya, like he's like their reins. Okay. To, to try and wake <laughs> him up, I'm like, behold her, wake up. Okay. All right, so you, you're basically going to wake him up and he goes to one hit point, right? Yeah, and I'm saying this in deep speech so he understands me. And I say, calm yourself, Beholder. I have saved your life. Um, do you speak anything besides deep speech? Does, does he speak anything besides deep speech? Yeah, I'm asking him that like on a like on oh. the side. Yeah, you're asking him. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the Beholder kind of starts coming to after being knocked out. Are you okay? And you're holding its two eye sockets that are covered up. No, I'm holding the, its mustache. That's right. Uh, it's where mustache. where are you holding it from, though? Behind or front? Well, I would assume that I could walk over to, like, right here. Whoops. Right here and grab his tentacle mustache and kind of oh, give okay. it, like, a, a little whip to wake him up. To wake him up. Okay. So he's going to fly up from being prone. And he's, he's still kind of groggy, not sure what's going on. I have saved your life, Beholder. <laughs> you, you have a name. What name you're do lucky you that, You're lucky that Tavernier can't understand you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're speaking in deep speech to it. <clears throat> and it, it, it'll ask you back, who are you? My name is Vothia. What is your name? And you can um, you can tell that it's 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 still kind of groggy from being knocked unconscious. I grab its tentacle and give it a fierce little um, whipping action. I say, "Come on, snap out of it!" And then I reach up and slap him on the cheek. Okay. What is your name? <laughs> you see that it's becoming. What's your pimp slapping a beholder? <laughs> yeah. And it, come now, come now. I'm and your it, friend. I and it kind of gets yeah. more conscious. It just becomes more conscious as you're yanking on it. <laughs> it. It's taking too long, and I say, I can call you Billy if that will suffice. And it it, uh, it, it, it tells you that it does not have a name. Okay, Billy it is. <laughs> now, Billy, <laughs> what, what exactly is it that you are looking for, Billy? Perhaps I can help you? I mean, I've already helped you. I prevented you from dying. And I motion back to the others and I say, they wanted your life. But okay, I saved a, it. <laughs> make, me a, make me a diplomacy check. Diplomacy check. Can I use a... Oh, a wrong character. That's why I'll uh, be right back uh, one minute. Okay. Mm. Diplomacy is... Zaga will aid other on that diplomacy check. How's Kagaga going to aid him, though? Kadaga has no clue what I'm saying. <laughs> That's right. 28. I nailed it. Don't oh. worry. <laughs> so, yes, I informed him that while they wanted to kill him, I have saved his life, so I'm his only friend now, and he should explain to me what it is he's looking for so that I can help him further. Okay. Um, you, you do notice that the beholder is not hostile towards you. But it it is still groggy to a certain point to where it's you know not fully itself yet, and so you have a I'm window back. you have okay. a window of opportunity here to uh, you know question things. So with that window of opportunity, um, it, it turns to you and says, "Volthier, why did you save my life?" In, in deep speech, and then he goes, "I do also speak common." Well, let's just stay in deep speech for now. Uh, so. Remember, <laughs> does it say I do also speak common in deep speech or in common? Deep speech. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you guys don't understand what's happening with it. I'm like, let's just stay in deep speech for a moment longer. On an aside, can you shrink down? <laughs> like really small. The beholder. Billy, Billy, pay he's, attention. He's like shrink down. Yes. Can you get small? No. <sighs> okay, so no pet beholder. Um, <laughs> so what is it that you're looking for, Billy? I am looking for the sons. 
the suns as in large balls of gas or children? What, elaborate. <laughs> I'm looking for puke and snot. <laughs> so the sun of your nose and your mouth? <laughs> no. That's there. It, it, it basically, he'll explain to you that he's looking for the sons of the beholder in the chapel. What is... You don't have a name? Do you, he asks you, do you know where they're at? Um, I have a good feeling where they're at, but I cannot currently share that with you as I do not know the level of trust. What do you know about their location? He says, "We, d I don't know. I'm trapped here. Well, if they have the names Puke and Snot, how come no one has named you? Uh, because I am nameless. Well, no, you're not. Now your name is Billy. Say it with me. <laughs> Billy. Remember, it, Billy. Another diplomacy check. <laughs> Remember, Billy, I am your friend. 17. Okay. It says, fine. Billy, Billy will work. I pull a uh, small piece of cloth. And, out a, and of my a, tear, bag. a tear dribbles down his eye. You've, you've given him a name. I, I, <laughs> zug, I zug. pull a, a, small, a small strap of cloth from my uh, bag left over from the crap I got from the tavern, and I wipe the tear away. And then I pull out a, a piece of uh, chalk, and I write, write Billy, and I tie it around his um, mustache tentacle. <laughs> and I say, there you go, Billy. Now, um, okay. why, are these, why are these two children important? Snot and bubbles, or whatever you call them. <laughs> Puke and snot. <laughs> Puke is puke is spelled. Um, here, I'll just type it into the chat. Puke. <laughs> puke. Okay, so not and only the big builder has a novel taste for names. He also right. cannot cannot kind of spell. Yeah. <laughs> So, Billy, okay. are you not a son of the beholder in the chapel? No. Hmm. I don't okay. know where I came from. That's interesting. Okay. That's Do why. Not... That's why. You see, so you understand that he doesn't know where he came from. That's why he's nameless. But you're right. giving him a name now. Okay, now listen to me, Billy. I want you to begin speaking in common, but before you do, know that you should say nothing to provoke these people because they will kill you. And okay. now that you have a name, it would be a travesty for you to die. Don't you agree? He says, but death is only just a passageway. Yeah, but you'll lose your name when you go through that passage. Yeah. Stay with me. Come on, Billy. <laughs> Make me another diplomacy check. <laughs> yeah, remember this is a beholder you're 17. talking to. Seventeen. 17. Okay. Okay. He's he's getting more awake now. He's becoming more and more awake. And uh, Volthier, make me a insight check if you would. <laughs> no, Chris. Based off the requirement of an inside check, you, I get you think back. things are going really, really well. <laughs> I say, all right, Billy. No, begin speaking in common to them, and before he speaks, I go ahead and fill him in on the thing that he's looking for, the two things. Uh, and I he, say, does anybody turns, have any questions for Billy before he departs? And he turns uh, back to Volthier and he says. Why are my eyes covered? For your own protection. These are eye hunters, and they will take your eyes if they see them. Make me another diplomacy check. Or is that intimidate? Uh, it'd be a bluff. Okay, make me a bluff. <laughs> yeah, that's, a good, that's more bluff. <laughs> yeah. Um, 25, he believes wow. the hell out of me. <laughs> that's pretty darn good. Since it does be... Since it does speak common, you eyes. can uh, do it as well, Walter. Yep. Okay. You you do see that this this that beholder was, uh, seems to from, uh, seems to be uh, you know <laughs> agreeing with Volthier. 
<laughs> yeah. So at this point, I turn to them. And I tell the shorthand version of the story that he's looking for puke and snot. They're the sons of the guy that we met in the chapel. He's unnamed. I have now named him Billy, and everyone should refer to him as Billy. So, mm, Billy, why do you <laughs> want me to Pedro. Hey. Mr. Rama da Silva. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hi, Pedro. Uh, terribly late. Earphones. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, Bill, uh, go ahead, uh, Mr. Uh, Tio. What, what did you want to say? Uh, so, Billy. Uh, why do you work for uh, that beholder? I don't know how to refer to him. Okay. The one in the chapel. So who who are you asking that for? Can you ping me over real quick? I got like when he came in, I got moved away from. Oh, okay. Away. Let me do it. Here. Uh, I'm asking uh the Billy basically why okay, he's working the for Billy. the guy in the couple in the chapel. Um, he says he's not working for the guy in the chapel. But they are here, and they are under the impression that they need to find the two sons of Gum Jabbar. Gum Jabbar is the beholder in the chapel, and he explains to you that Gum Jab uh, Puke and Snot are both <laughs> names. <laughs> Puke and Snot are both um, sons, offspring of Gum Jabbar. And so, uh, what ahead. gave you the impression you need to find them? Um, we, 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 we've been, you know, we've been spawned into this this place, and we've Please, been Billy, held here. Stop stuttering. <laughs> it's not Focus. stuttering. Focus, Billy. That's As right. we are. That's right. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, okay, he explains to you that it's there. There are spawns here. They don't know how they got here. They don't have names, but they've been stuck in these areas. But all they know in their minds is they need to find the two sons and, and free, what? free the two sons to overthrow Gumjabar. Oh, so uh, his sons will overthrow Gumjabar. 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 We had. Uh, <laughs> uh, Let's say a meeting with uh, Gamjabar, and it wasn't pleasant. So <laughs> it could be of uh, mutual interest if we uh, <laughs> yes. proceed yes. with uh, uh, your your idea. Okay. Um, so basically, the beholder you know, he'll he'll say to you, "Yes, if you can help find the two sons, we would be." Eternally grateful. You know, it would have been a lot easier if you uh, started talking like that instead of uh, shooting out with your race in the beginning. Okay, make me a uh, intimidate or a diplomacy. Diplomacy, I think. It's, uh, it's okay. not actually intimidate. It's uh, okay. <laughs> it's just just whichever way. Stating the facts, one basically. It's, it's almost more of a side comment. comment. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so the the Billy turns back to <laughs> Billy. Billy, I, I, I <laughs> pen, Billy the beholder. <laughs> I pen his um eye stalk mustache thingy coming from his mouth right around where I tie it on his little <laughs> name tag, and I say, "Billy, do not provoke them." <laughs> okay, he says, "I want to help you, Billy." I know, he, he turns away from he turns away from Arashin, having been kind of rubbed the wrong way about this whole thing, but he's still feeling that the group wants to help. I, so he uh, turns back to Air er, to uh, Bolthier and says, "Can you disable this trap?" He says, "The uh, blood that you see on the floor is not someone else; it's our own." You guys are idiots. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, I look to him and I say, we will give it a go. Are you sure you can't shrink? You would make an excellent bobble. <laughs> uh, yes, anyway. I'm sure. Why, you say, why do you keep asking me about shrinking? I I've always wanted a little 
dwarf beholder. Of the earth. <laughs> Have you seen one of those pot belly pigs? It's like that, only a beholder. Okay, well, he's, anyway, just, he's just going to bite you now. <laughs> no, I was just kidding. But, um, I tell him, I switch back into deep speech and I say, it is good that you've told them about Gumjabar, for eye hunters like the biggest eye stalks that they can find. And yours will um, be second to Gumjabar's, am I correct? Correct. So, you should not actually fear them any longer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe be older or familiar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, he says, well, will you help? Of course I will help. What, what can you do to help us? And he says, it will take more. We need more. More. More help to defeat Gumjabar. Can't do it well, obviously, alone. we're going to need snot and puke, and then you have the five of us, and we are magnificent. And then there's you, and I assume you have some other nameless friends. You could name them Billy as well. You could be the Billies. It would be magnificent. <laughs> What do you what do you propose? I mean, it, it and where is my where is my brother on the other side of the trap? Well, I think I could probably... only save you because your brother threw himself against the trap, trying to kill us. I could not pull him from the trap in time. He is south. Make me a bluff check. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can probably be named <laughs> Billy and the Stalks, <laughs> or Billy, Billy and the, the Mini Stalks. <laughs> Billy and the Stalks. <laughs> yeah. So at that, I'll switch back to Common, and I'll inform the party <laughs> that we need to disable this trap. And then I turn to Billy, and I said, so we need to head south then, correct? He says, I don't know. I, I do not know where they're at. I was hoping that it was something you would know. Well, then what is the relevance of disarming the trap, Billy? So I can be free! So you're trapped on this side? And yes, to search for puke and snot. I thought you but, said you were going to help me free, get free and find them. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Well, are uh, we oh. are looking uh, for a secret door that must have opened uh, recently. Did okay. you see anything on your side of the traps? A secret door? He yeah, it should have opened not... Uh, too long ago. He says, come, come see what I've seen for centuries. And he walks okay. up to the corner up here. Whoa, he, he floats up to legs. the corner. <laughs> yeah. Floats. <laughs> and he's going to use his healing surge, his second wind to give himself a uh, healing <laughs> surge. And um, I say to him, and I say, Billy, do you have any sort of... Uh, means of writing or somehow putting your mark on something so that if we meet more of your kind we can let them know that we are helping. Um, okay. By the way, I right total defense as a standard and the move uh, through the trap. <laughs> okay, move through the trap, so let's do an attack on you. Voth, I think... Uh, that's not enough. Total defense gives you two, right? Yeah, that's, so that's oh, actually enough. It'll hit. <laughs> 11 damage. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Erisheen jumps through the trap, opening to... And I also heal myself. Okay. So Kadaga's left on there. So he basically leads you guys over, and he shows you a corner. He's been stuck here Ooh, for corner. centuries. Yes. This is where I am. This is where I stay. And I have no freedom to move, but all I know is that I need to find the brothers. So is it, is it like this to the south of the trap as well? Uh, he says, I don't know. Oh, you've you never, never told spoken with to your, your uh, mate? Uh, you never were like, dude, is there another way out? I, I, yeah, but I don't know if there's another way out or not. He would have known. We, we never spoke of it. All we've spoken about is about getting free. And finding the brothers. Well, I, I think uh, if you're going to talk about getting free, then one of the questions would be like, "Is freedom your way?" Is freedom my way? Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, Hold on a minute. I don't, I, I don't understand try, what you're asking. But I think you should try to check on the other side. Uh, 
I can warp through, yes, of course. Yep. Can I just uh, add something? Yes. I mean, I, I know I'm taking a, a very Kadaga-ish way, but <laughs> why, are we, why are we helping him? I mean, he's a beholder. <laughs> because they, uh, you, you're missing a basically k fact. They seem to be to want to slay the super mega scary beholder that uh, we met. Gumdrabar. Yeah, but... Gum Gumball is the really big one that almost <laughs> killed us. Yeah, but if we kill this guy and the other guys, we're going to get experience, we're going to get levels, and then kill the other one. <laughs> okay. We don't get experience for defeating him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we still defeated him. No <laughs> yeah, we overcame the encounter, so we'd still get the... Uh, exactly. Stuff. And they don't have any loot, because I asked him if he had anything to benefit me, and short of cutting off an eye stalk, I, he's got nothing. Yep. Um, uh, so while Vulture, uh, while, while Vulture check the other side, I basically use uh, uh, the back of my sword to check uh, um, to check the uh, the walls here. And uh, okay, the hold on, Volter, uh, hold on. Don't move too far. So, okay, go ahead. Point, what you're saying? At this point, I'm going to turn around and come back. Anyways, okay, and I'm gonna so, inform them that there's the. I'm gonna come back up here, do my little. Well, wait a second, here. wait a second, both here. Go back down here. When you, <laughs> when you go. Where, okay, where? when you get to this point here, mm -hmm. you will notice that um, <laughs> this area right here, from where you're at, this whole area here. Can you see my marker? Right. Yeah. Is all where you f you see signs of where the other beholder lived. So then this. But you do notice that door. he had, yeah, he had more uh, ways to go down down to the south there. And yeah. he just never went this way. Mm. Well, there's sigils he, down there. Maybe there's another trap. They just never talked about it. That what the what Billy told you is that him and the other beholder, all they talked about was getting free, how to get free. And find the other two. So they're, it's almost like they're obsessed, okay. like their whole sole purpose in life, until Volthier gave him a name, was just to get out of here so they could go somewhere okay. else. Can I come back up here to Billy? I come. Sure. But now, how do you get through the trap? A thing that resets a teleport. Oh, dimension warp. Okay. So yep. I come up here to Billy and I say. Billy, apparently there was a whole nother direction for Ralph to go down, and he never went down it. <laughs> he says, let's go see. Um, well, we still have the problem of uh, that big uh, bloody trap in the middle. I thought he sees it. He kind of gets an angry tone. To him. I thought you said you could take care of that. We're, hey, Billy. I oh, hunters. No. <laughs> I hunters. <laughs> Let that sink in. <laughs> Diplomacy. <laughs> I mean, can't he use the disintegrate ray on the oh. trap once it's oh. sprung? Okay. Now that's you, you, I gave you a bonus vault here because of uh, your your connection now with Billy. You named him, so you're getting yeah. a bonus on this. All right. Um, so what, what did you ask, Pedro? Can't he use uh, the the disintegrate ray or something in his eye stalks that will just disintegrate the, the blades when they come up? Um, no, no, he doesn't have a disintegrating eye. The he doesn't that, have guys, a single. <laughs> yeah, no. Listen, listen. The you are you aren't here for the the uh, combat you guys had with these two beholders. <clears throat> he only has a fire ray, an exhaustion ray, a sleep ray, and a telekinesis ray. And then he has a center eye attack that just immobilizes. All right. So he I could. Uh, okay, but if he has a telekinesis ray, he can just mm -hmm. shove the, the the swords out of the way. No, well, no, and if it's, it's uh, strong no. enough. <laughs> yeah, the, the the trap is there in the center of the, of the thing. There, it's not something you can shove. You can't move uh, the whole rune section. Yeah. Did and, I find and, anything uh, while checking uh, just that end? Uh no, just okay. just filth and stuff and bones of other things that have come by that they've eaten. Hi, can, uh, can I try and disable the trap? Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I was about yeah. to say. I'm gonna. Yeah, turn. you're pretty one. The, the only one that have a chance to yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna tell Billy to just relax. We will get him out of here, and then I will turn to Avenir and be like, 
You're the only one who can do this. <laughs> he shoots forward to his newfound friend. <laughs> okay, so let me just check here. Okay, so uh, as can as someone help me. <laughs> <laughs> As oh, you, oh. You, you, since it's a magical trap, you have to be trained, and yes. you're only you're, you're the only one that uh, can try. With yeah. your uh, basically, I think yeah. it's a cap. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah, you're gonna do a you're going to do a skill challenge where you have to have a certain number of successes before failures to disable okay. this trap, and it's it's pretty it's gonna be pretty hard. So as, so as Avenir looks at, looks down at it, seeing the you know level of uh, trap that this is, he knows that it's going to be quite difficult to disable it. So outro game, uh, Avenir can do it yeah. because if it's a skill challenge <laughs> with multiple successes, yes, uh, he can only roll one one roll, a single roll trained. I think. Yeah. I think. What, what, uh, no, no, no. I have. I have. The, the training for uh, up to one minute. Oh, that's uh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, for a whole what encounter. What it's going to require is some skill checks outside the circle first to start getting the trap disabled, and okay. then skill checks within the zone to get it to uh, disable completely. Okay. Um, okay. As he goes to start observing the trap to disarm it and whatnot. I have no idea about that crap, so I turn back to Billy, and I begin to discuss with Billy the prospects of possibly riding on top of his head <laughs> as we float down the hall. And out of character, is there any way I could use him like a mount? <laughs> out of character, I was actually going to suggest it, but then I say, I thought, no, it's too stupid. <laughs> Billy awesome. kind of stares you with his one golden eye and kind of gets a little brow over his one eye like, why do you want to ride me? I say, that's what friends do. They give each other piggy <laughs> okay, What I'm gonna, kind of friend do you know? I'm going to turn to Billy and tell him, okay, pay no heed. He this is all in deep speech. To, he wanted that's to right. A, you don't understand. This ago. is all in deep speech. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to ride a, a dwarf at some days ago. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> normal. He might uh, want to ride a beholder. <laughs> I I pet his um, mustache thing where I put his little name tag at, and I say, <laughs> "Billy, with our powers combined, we would be unstoppable. Could you imagine Beholder Calvary riding against <laughs> Gumball Christ, yeah. or whatever his name was? Gumball, yeah. uh, gum, gum Jabbar." <laughs> 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 Broke back mountain. <laughs> now we know which way the Mothier swings. <laughs> I'm trying to make Beholder Calvary, not Broke back Beholder. <laughs> Billy's like, I've, I've never seen that, that movie before. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think I think the elf man is trying to procreate. So with, uh, basically, I have planted that seed in. Um, oh God damn it! <laughs> that thought. <laughs> I planted that right thought. in the middle eye. And you're, and you're waiting for it to grow. In, in the beholder's mind, and essentially, now MJ, you can decide. You know, when you have time to think about it. Right. Um, <laughs> No, I have not inseminated the beholder. <laughs> I don't even know where the beholder's ass is. Just stick it right in the eye. It's, it's actually underneath the tongue. Oh, what the hell? You have to go into its mouth. So it's like oral and anal at the same time. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh this game never is... a dull moment. <laughs> God okay. damn it. So, okay. Uh, the, the, the point is gotten across because uh, poor, poor Billy, you know, he's been sheltered his whole life here. Yeah. <laughs> but he still is evil and still has anger issues. So, but he's 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 trying to listen to what Voltier says. So that's pretty he's much not, like Raga. Yeah, he has no. He has definitely no intentions of a Brokeback Mountain. 
<laughs> but he, uh, he, does, he doesn't like the idea of you riding on him either. You can I, I let him know that everybody's capable of change. But, <laughs> and I, I reference... Uh, I, I reference, just don't know how to quit you. <laughs> I, I reference the whole party and I say, they changed. They wanted to cut your eye stalks off and I talked them out of it. Just yeah. remember that. When? You're making your decision. When? Hey, he was unconscious. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I'm saying all this in deep speech. Anything that would get me in trouble with you guys is in deep speech. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know that um, Avenir already told you to stop uh, talking in deep speech since he does understand common. Yep. So he's getting kind of annoyed. Awkward. Okay. All right, both the, uh, Avenir, go ahead and make me a uh, thievery check. However, you would like to do that. Okay. Uh, can anyone provide me with any bonuses? Um, is anyone trained in thievery? No. If you, no. Yeah, we're... we're uh, Otin can actually do something if you fail to check. Okay. Yeah. Uh, second question. Can I make, uh, since this is a magical trap, can mm -hmm. I make an arcana check so I can have a bonus in thievery? Um, I can assist him with arcana. I can't assist him with thievery. Right. So we'll we'll um we'll say that someone needs to assist you in the arcana if you want to try to do that to get a bonus. Okay, well if okay. I do an assist in arcana I simply cannot fail. Okay. 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 So you'll get the plus two from Volthier um checking out the arcana well having Volthier explain these arcanic properties to you. You can do it. You can do it, dude. <laughs> He's rubbing his back. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's massaging his shoulders. <laughs> you will you will not be allowed to give me a pat on the back <laughs> if I succeed. <laughs> okay. Kadaga uh, looks over and says, I want a back rub. <laughs> no, Kadaga's no. backing up. <laughs> That's right, he's backing up. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna roll. Okay. All Ooh. right. Good job. <laughs> All right, so you're able to work in some of these things and start preparing to, you know, be able to go into the center of this thing. Uh, and so you're able to find a way to where you can actually get your hand into this rune without setting off the trap at this point. Okay. Go ahead and make another one. Okay. Any bonuses for not failing this one? Uh, use the same. <laughs> use the same bonuses from uh, that both here had just given you for these first three checks. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. So suddenly you're like, oh, I hit something wrong. You and your pinky crosses over on a line. What's uh, that? What would be the difficulty? Uh, on this one. Yeah. DC 22. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, so you're able to damage? pull your hand out just in time before the trap goes, because Avenir's <laughs> had dealings with these traps for a long while, but he, he knows you know the sound that comes before doing it, so the trap gets set off. But go ahead and uh, make another check if you would like to continue. So, yeah. to add a little levity to the moment, because um, it's clearly really intense, I kind of turned back to Billy, and I'm like, so what do you eat, Billy? I mean, being over here in this corner and all. Oh, man. No, oh, again. <laughs> same same, same uh, procedure. No, wait. Uh, uh, yeah, Southern so Inspiration from Martin. Yeah. That's actually a 25, oh, okay. 24. Okay. That's a can, pass. Uh, can Brother Othin do that multiple times? No, no just once. because uh, you would have to take a rest and then uh, your elm effect would wear off. Yep. Yeah, uh, I don't know, but the, the, the DC will probably go up on the last one. Uh, I don't know if you shouldn't keep it to the don't, last one. Uh, don't metagame. <laughs> <Stay there>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't metagame. Okay. No, uh, I've passed. I'm going. I'm going to the inner circle. Uh, not yet. You need um, go ahead and make one more check, and then you can proceed into the inner circle. <clears throat> okay. Same same thing with the plus eleven from Volthir, or the yeah the plus eleven for the thing from Volthir. 
Uh, easily. Yeah. Easily sure. done. Okay. Now you're able to closer to that. <laughs> yep. Now you've you've basically disabled the trap enough to where you can be in the center of here, okay? <clears throat> if you fail, you're gonna get it attacked. <laughs> okay. No okay. so, I told you we'd help you. So if he can be there, what and triggers can, the trap now? That's right. Um, what triggers the trap? Because the trap is still set. What he's what? done now is he's made it a way to where he can impede into the rune without setting off the trap. Now he's actually going to disabling the actual whirling blade part of the trap. So he's well, disabling the trigger. Do that? Huh? If, if he's disabled the trigger, then we can just walk over it. You can, but Billy can't. Why not? Because <laughs> he's because hard. He's able to like a single <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So two more. He can squeeze but, down to medium size. <clears throat> <laughs> squeeze through. Yeah. No, but we could actually we could actually use our communal bag of holding to put him inside. <laughs> I already made that. <laughs> Get in the bag. Get in the bag. Oh yeah, Voltaire really does tell you too that he eats, you know, flesh. Human flesh. <laughs> what oh, flesh? When's the last flesh. time a human was this way? Huh? It's, uh, I, it's it's been centuries, so I, I don't know. I, would I you would you that. eat other beholder flesh? No. God, okay, I'm weird. gonna I'm gonna turn to Billy and point a knife at him and say, "You are not helping, Mister. Just can it or say <laughs> you're, you you also eat elf flesh, okay?" And he he looks at Voltier like, "Can I eat him?" Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, if he if, lets you, uh, yeah, I, you, I think it's more the other way around. But <laughs> you cannot eat him um, yet. <laughs> <laughs> if things should come to pass, then I, I'm not going to say it's not an option. <laughs> but I know where some Dwergar are. I know where um, some mm. other very tasty morsels. You like tasty morsels, don't you? Mm. But just focus. Yeah. Let's let us get you past this trap. And, yeah, and uh, we actually have a female human that you can eat. <laughs> yeah, no, I think working. she's lost around here somewhere. <laughs> okay, so Avenir's unfocused from the trap, so he gets a okay. negative two in this next round. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unless someone else wants to buff him up to uh, to help him somehow. Now he's dealing with mechanical properties of this magical trap. Oh, dear oh, okay. God. So I will let you guys decide if you want to try to aid him. Let me see mechanical properties. Well, there's still ar there's still Arcana, there's still Arcana available, but there are other things you might possibly be able to use. Dungeoneering, probably. I would say dungeoneering, maybe history or maybe perception. Oh, I'm the only one with perception. Can I help him with perception? <laughs> and uh, perception won't work. Dungeoneering could work. Well, uh, if I think fail, Arcana is our best option. I would say either Streetwise or Dungeoneering or Arcana. Yeah. Or Thievery. Streetwise. Uh, I guess that's kind of a stretch. Huh? <laughs> How about Endurance? Yeah, I think uh, yeah, Dungeoneering, well, Thievery. Got, uh, dungeoneering uh, plus seven. Who's got it? Othan? Yeah, plus seven. Dungeoneering. Yeah, oh, he does. That's not bad. Give it a shot. Can't hurt, right? See, that's why I couldn't remember if there was. I'm playing Othan, not you. That's right. <laughs> there you go. We'll take that one. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> okay, so that'll bring him back up to zero. And then plus two from my Arcana. Yeah, you want to go ahead and roll it? Roll the Arcana. I can't. I can't miss it. I have fourteen arcana. Oh, yet. that's true. That's true. Okay, so it brings him out to the plus, plus, level. plus okay. two. Anybody have dungeoneering? They would like to help him with uh, the stack. Oh, that was Othin. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so then thievery. <laughs> Ereshin's got some thievery. Hmm. Avenir's got thievery. Well, you're Ereshin thievery. got some thievery. Yeah, really? I'm, I'm doing. Ereshin, I'm showing you have plus two to thievery. Oh yeah. Okay. Kadaga has intimidate. Oh, yeah, because it's only an <laughs> agonographer. <laughs> 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 
He leans over and he says, if you don't figure this trap out, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to incinerate you. Hey, maybe, yeah. the beholder, maybe the beholder can help. Ooh, Ooh. there you go. You now okay. have a plus four, so add a plus 13 to your next check. <clears throat> okay. Uh, or actually, plus next six. One. Yeah, next uh, three. Uh, yeah. Two from Otin, two from me, and two from uh, Vatir. Yeah, nice but I took away... Yeah. yeah. Yep, I took away two because of Avenir pointing back and talking to the uh, beholder. Asshole. So. I had so many. I had so many great rolls, twenty sevens and all. You should. That's right. Okay, so these next three traps you're going to do with a plus thirteen. These next okay. three checks. Yeah, but any time, um, if you fail in the next three rolls, uh, more than you succeed. So yeah. basically, if you if you do two fails in a row, you're going to set the trap off. Okay. And okay, it's going to gonna... hit you. <laughs> it's going to attack okay. you. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to try the first one. Oh! oh man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one more. Nice head start. <laughs> yeah. So he, he starts m m uh, meshing in with the mechanical stuff, and, and he goes, oh, and it's crap. Bad. He hits the wrong thing. It's like, oh. <laughs> but nothing happens yet. Vathir okay. simply takes a step back. If I, <laughs> what about if I fail, if I fail this this next check, can I make like a um, concentration check so I don't have to move, even if I take the damage and yeah. keep trying to exactly. disable it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Second one. Oh. Man. He fails. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, I'll make the attack against her first. Okay. Twenty one against your AC misses. Misses. Yes. Okay, so you're yeah. able to focus enough to prevent it from doing any damage to you. Okay. You saved yourself eleven damage. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, um, now keep in mind, you cannot fail any more checks. You have to pass two more checks. And if uh, okay, and if I fail them, I get attacked. Uh, you cannot disable the trap. I turn back to Billy and I say, "You've seen this thing for millennia. Is there <laughs> any insight you can give us on its workings?" Yeah. Well, you, you, <laughs> Billy looks at you now with a little sterner look, as in if he's not really believing you, you're watching what's been happening. All of a sudden, this trap jets out again and tries to slash at him. I, slash I, at I get a stern look right back at him. I say, <laughs> "Billy, this is your only hope." And he moves one back. <laughs> you focus, and you need to get over there and tell him <laughs> anything you can tell him about the inner workings of that trap. Otherwise, you can live on the other side of a blender for the rest of your life. <laughs> Make a diplomacy check. 19. Okay. All right. He, he starts calming down. It's like, I don't know anything about traps. You don't have to know anything about traps. Just tell us about patterns, uh, clickings you've heard, anything. You've got, what, 12 eyes? You haven't seen anything? Look, okay, he says, I've only dealt with this trap a few times, a few millennia ago, where it sliced me up really good. Can I... Um, s There's no way I can get a bonus out of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um... Roll me a d20, single d20. Straight d20. Whoops. Straight d20. 17. Okay, we'll give you a plus two. Thank God. <laughs> he, so, uh, he, he explains to you uh, about a sound you can hear of this trap before it will go off. That, uh, you, could the, and, and, you know, it's just a mechanical sound that he's heard about this trap going off which tells Avenir about a mechanism that he's reaching in and trying to disable that will help him produce it. So make it now a plus 15. You fail Is off a plus 15. <laughs> if you fail off a plus 15, I'm just going to make this thing explode. <laughs> <laughs> Kill everyone right off. <laughs> Seriously. 
<laughs> We've only got two more chances here, so don't screw it up. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Killed me now. This is so stupid and so wrong. And it wrong. still misses you. Hey! It still stays focused. <laughs> I can dodge blades. As long as it's not killing him, we can keep going, right? Okay. <laughs> I can figure out a stupid. I can't figure out a stupid trap, but I can dodge blades. Uh, you can. Me. But <laughs> now, uh, Billy is going to bite Volthier. <laughs> 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 Ten damage. Oh man! Roll initiative. So would I still have the temporary HP? No, right? Yeah. Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Oh man! Oh, man. <laughs> What's my You're HP? in the middle of a trap. <laughs> yeah, you got to stay focused to get around this trap. Oh, man. Yeah, and I'm going to say you do need to disable this trap to get around it completely. Man, for some reason, when I edit my HP in this thing, it doesn't work. Really? Um, so the Beholder now is attacking Volthyr? Yep. Oh, man. He doesn't believe you guys anymore, and he gets to go again. So I, I lose his bonus? Well, I can't lose his bonus because it, it was... A knowledge bonus. Exactly. Yeah, I have the knowledge. Exactly. Wait, oh, yeah, I was going to say, 10 damage doesn't take your health down that far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I made okay. my HP uh, 10 instead of subtracting 10. <laughs> right. All right. Billy is going to... Is Pedro asleep? <laughs> yeah, probably. Three initiative. He is going to send a ray at... Um, Avenir in frustration of the the mouthy human, <laughs> and he's going to try to move him. Yeah, right, where we go? Well, do you remember that he only has his central uh, eyes free? Oh, that's right. He only has a central <laughs> eye free. Boom, boom, boom. That's right. He's a um, so he will try to immobilize. Immobilize him in a trap. That's awesome. Yep. But oh. then uh, Volthier and uh, them will get a opportunity attack against him. Wow, I actually got to look up what I can do with that. What am I going to do, slap him? <laughs> so he's going to try to immobilize with the central eye, which is a minor, onto um, <clears throat> Avenir. And he will miss him. Yay. He's into a rage now. He's just blown up and it's just he's he doesn't believe you guys anymore. <coughs> but he will That's make my attack. I think I miss. <laughs> you missed. And he Wilson missed. Wilson does ten damage with the Sullener's hammer. Okay. Uh the target's next attack before the end of Othan's next turn takes a penalty to the damage okay. roll. And so my um do a bite attack against Othan. And what's that penalty? Minus one to his damage roll. Okay. In, uh, in that so seven damage to Othan. In that opportunity attack that I did, mm -hmm. I sort of slap him, then I grab his name tag and rip it off of his mustache, and I say, <laughs> I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Poor shame, Billy. Poor shame. Poor shame. <laughs> um, eight damage. Uh, sorry, seven damage to... There you go. Kadaga. You see things go quickly south. God. Well, uh, didn't uh, Otim Blue just uh, brought him down? If it was a one hit point. What's that? Oh, he's, he did a healing surge. He did. Oh, he, okay. uh, yeah, he did a healing. He did but a that will one. probably kill him right there. Oh. Yep. Go. Billy <laughs> is no longer with you. What a cop out! I wanted a mount. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, if you can, if you can, uh, if you can vivify him. You'll probably have an undead beholder as a mount. That's good. <laughs> Could I um, cut off his telekinetic eye stalk and use it as like a beer fetcher? <laughs> <laughs> beer fetcher? Day <laughs> <Bait> hand. 
<laughs> I don't think that uh, the cleric of Pelor would be okay with uh, undeaths or uh, um, yep. uh, amputations. Um, so, on that Vulcan, note, Vulcan there, turns his hammer and points it right at uh, Volthier's face. Since he's <laughs> he's now dead, I actually really really need to go. So can we finish the trap? Yeah, me too. Actually, yeah, let's finish the trap. Well, so, okay. Eventually, you will get it. It's just a matter of how much damage will yeah, you take. Exactly. So go ahead and roll your next check. Or you guys okay. can all just move past it and take the damage to heal. I could warp past it. You can it's work no past it. Important. <laughs> yeah. Billy's dead. I say fuck it. Let's Wait, go. Wait, now that you have disabled that section he is standing on, we can all move to that single section, except for Kragat. Mm. Right. The irony. Okay, let me. I think. I think. I think Avenir should uh, dimension warp with Kadaga. To let him go through, <laughs> let him go through unscathed, and then let Avenir take the uh, damage to show yeah, his, no, really. his dedication <laughs> no, to really. Kadaga at the moment. <laughs> okay, but I can if if I try if I try to uh, just impede part of the trap to let Kadaga pass. You know, realistically, when I get, when I get another bonus, your teleport <laughs> swap is an encounter, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if we really wanted to, you could switch places with Kadaga and then switch places back with me and then I could warp across no, the track. No, wait, there's a better way. There's a faster way. He does, his dimensional warp uh, uh, can also target you all I want to lie. So you oh, can uh, right. basically teleport where Kadaga is. Uh, he can swap you... Well, he can swap you with Kadaga and you can teleport back. Yeah, so long story short, we can circumvent this trap. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so it's right. got, it, it makes a step to make it easier for, um, for, uh, what's it, for the healing process of both Kadaga and um, Avenir. All right. Okay. Um, Let me just try one last time. <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> hey, both here, do you got a few more minutes? <clears throat> um, I, I no, get now I got a 34. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hang, um, with, hang with me for a few more minutes. Hurry, hurry. Okay, <laughs> everybody go ahead and uh, take your actions heading down. No, no initiative order. Uh, actually, I would take a short rest now. Okay. Because you use the power on the trap, on the builder, on the such. Right. <clears throat> so, if someone used a healing word on me, I could get 10 HP, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to just go back up to max oh. HP. Okay, I'm going to drop our initiative, too, just so we can see. Yeah, I, I used both my... Um, I used both my... How are they all called? Uh, inspiring words, so... Okay. I would better to rest now. Yep. All right, so you see another hall, and there's some more circles down at the bottom. Kadaga comes down. Othan comes. <gasps> he sees Othan comes down, and he turns around the corner, and he sees another red ruin, like the one that was in front of the the safe house. But What's he the notices he notices the wall looks illuminated to a certain yellowish color. Like the yellowish color we saw in the pit? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> totally different. Uh, have Othan make a perception check. That would be a plus, plus seven. seven. Can Vothir make a perception check? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, Walter, it can't make a perception check. Walter <laughs> <laughs> um, can perceive. Othan looks at it and says, "That wall doesn't <laughs> look real." <laughs> and uh, what I will say that Voltier can connect is like that tr the the trigger that we saw back at the safe room, and this one here is a marking showing that there is a hidden door. They're linked up. Yeah. Yep. Well, well, guys, it looks like we found our mysterious hidden door. 
<laughs> what would you like to do? Um, did we already take the rest, or we, do we still have to? No, you guys took the rest. So okay. Kaga goes up. He sees, blue. Yeah, sees another blue, but you do notice that they're the single colors. Action same. point for a long time. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So, what would you like to do? So we can actually enter through this yellow thingy. Well, no one's told me what they're doing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, want to, I wanted to enter. Othan's gonna go through. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Othan, uh, Othan it, sticks uh, his hand and it goes right through the wall. Yeah, Nothing. me too. I'm gonna stick my head. <laughs> you gonna stick your head through? Yeah, probably gonna get my head chopped off. <laughs> he sticks his head through, and that's what he sees. And he moves back. Okay. Well, he sticks his head back. <clears throat> you notice a wall exactly like the same way on the other side. Okay, it's probably <laughs> safe to 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 go in. There's nothing here. Okay. <clears throat> and I go in. Okay. Go ahead and move uh, yourself. Uh, okay. You see, you're basically in a 10 by 10 room, just walled off. Everything's walled off, but then you see another type of that same wall. Othan moves in. Everybody's moving in. <laughs> There's no more room for Kadaga. That's fine. <laughs> Kadaga can <could> squeeze. <laughs> That's right. Kadaga can squeeze in there. Okay, hold on. Let me okay, center on the map. Now it's Mother's turn to just his head. Scotty, beam me up. That's right. I, um, There's another wall. Same type of wall. I stick my hand through with Hesmagog's tail, and I say, "Come out, Hesmagog. Tell me what you see." Okay. And go invisible and stuff. <laughs> and go invisible and stuff. <laughs> Hesmagog is like, "Ah, master, there's a curtain over here." Is it made of velvet? <laughs> velvet. <laughs> Why are you concerned about velvet? Now it looks I like I have a bad feeling about that. I is not that good. It looks like a tapestry. <laughs> I immediately unsummon him like, Ugh, it's not velvet. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's a curtain, big skull, and some other creepy stuff on the other side. Do you, and... do you think we could be on the Open lower level in. of the temple? Pop, Next to the lower level of the temple? Potentially, either way, I am worried about this whole thing. Okay, so Othan goes into the curtain. You guys are kind of, you can still kind of peek in around the curtain area there, and you kind of illuminate into the room. <coughs> but it doesn't, you can't really see too much, but it just looks like it's another room style place in there. Okay, Ooh. I think I'm going in. Okay. So Avenir parts the curtain <laughs> and steps he in. He thinks he is. And your goggles illuminate into another little section and showing a tapestry straight about 15 feet in front of you that illuminates another... Yay, the sigils at long last. <laughs> <laughs> Kadaga moves in. You guys are all in there. Holy crap, finally. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so you come into this room. Let me center the map here, and then you guys can move freely. Go ahead and explore around. What you see in this room is you find, you, f you see that this is the entrance chamber that allows you to teleport to all the different areas of where you need to go, meaning the camp. You see the camp at the top one. You see the village on the left side. <laughs> you see the, uh, the pyramid. Uh, gosh, I can't remember what my own stones were. I, I can, uh, it's a camp, village, castle, and pyramid. Yep, the castle uh, is the but bottom. I the can't south remember one. the one we have. You guys have, have, we have village and camp. Huh? Yes, you have the village we have the and the camp. Red ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Guff, old Guff, told you guys that um, that the the guy that's the tyrant Guff should have the portal stone for the pyramid to go get the portal stone for the castle. <clears throat> So um, you see in the center of these stands where you put the portal stones, there is also a large bell. 
on each one of these tapestries hanging from it Bye. is pictured. <laughs> Ganaga is going to start a tune on the bell. Um, there is a tapestry hanging that depicts certain things. The one to the north depicts the camp. So you actually see the center of the campsite with the four poles, the little gazebo thing with the center with the statue in there, and the entrances to everything. So you actually see it like it's in the camp. <clears throat> the one to the west tapestry that's hanging down, you see a picture of a village with, um, a, you know, like a house set off into the west of it, and then a center town hall place meeting spot, and then some houses up to uh, on the north, the let's see, the northwest, northeast, but basically, you know, in the four areas of the village, with the, you see women and children depicted on those tapestries uh, in and around human, the place. Human, women, and children? Human, women, and children. The one on the, the tapestry on the east is for the pyramid, which you see a depiction of a large pyramid, um, you know, just, just a depiction of the pyramid jetting up into the sky like in a, a desert area and stuff like that. And then the one to the south, you picture, you see a castle with uh, many, many beautiful women dancing around the castle, in and around the castle. I point to the castle and I'm like, do we have that stone yet? No, nope. no, we don't. Damn it. And okay. I really have to go, guys. Yeah, okay. Well, let me finish up the last ex explanation here and then we'll cliffhanger from there. Okay. Um, the bottom part there you see is two tents and also another setting of food all over everywhere. So play, everybody place your mini where you would like to be to end the session at. Which one had the females? The castle. Which is? The south one. All right, I'm going to be... My tent. <laughs> yeah, my tent. <laughs> Stay out. <laughs> I'm going to be at the, the castle tapestry just looking at it. <clears throat> okay. All right, guys, and we'll end the session right there, and you have Let the me camp just stones. one yeah. thing. The, okay. Can we well, both here, you, both here Sorry, you guys, guys I have to run. Thanks yeah, for the game. Okay. I'll see you later. Next week. Okay, take care. Bye. I was just going to ask if we can see anything, uh, any special items, apart from the food. Uh, nope. Uh -uh. No. But okay. it, it does strike you weird that this portal chamber would have these two tents sitting in there. Okay. And you, you see no signs of, I mean, there's, there's bedding inside the tent so you can, you know, hang out and sleep and stuff, but you see no signs of anybody that's like, like stayed here for an, any extended period of time. Uh, one final question. Mm -hmm. the, the doors to the left and to the north, uh -huh. <clears throat> uh, can we see anything uh, through a hole in them? Uh, lock nope. Or something? They're, they're exact doors just like the ones you saw in the, the safe house and they are locked. Can we listen anything to anything? Sure. Which uh, door would you like to go listen at? Uh, the left one first. Okay. So you head on perception. over here. Yep. Go yeah. ahead and make a perception. Twenty-one. Um, in that area there, you do not hear anything. Nothing coming from it at all. Okay. And the one on the north, can I check for it too? Yeah, go ahead. Same thing. Oh, okay. Hold on. Well, okay. We should end the session there, guy. I got a phone ring. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's 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 just it. Okay. Okay. Talk to you guys. Thanks. Yeah. Take care. Bye.